to get fat. We've done 30 for minutes. For fuck's sake. <laughs> We've done 30 minutes. You came at 10 past. Steve. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you press all the buttons, but the record button, Steve. Oh. Start again. I told you we need uh, Tom here. Yeah. To press buttons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good since that. I've seen, imagine if we'd done a full episode, though. I know we're in 20 minutes. Imagine in, if like... we had a guest. I know, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nah. It's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting worse. Yeah. I mean, I've, st- I've got all this set up and that to make it easier, and I still messed it up. <laughs> uh, hang on. <laughs> Joking, we'll just add it in. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so Taylor White face time. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to start again? <laughs> no, we can't go through all that again. We're going to have to scrap all that. And see where we go from there. <laughs> yeah, we, we did have a, a good uh, half an hour chat, but I forgot to click record, so yeah, we just. I've used all my humour on that first half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not funny from now on, it's because I used it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd have to put it down for not recording it. So <sighs> yeah. yeah, we will talk about the last one though. We had, you know, it was a lion that um, was left on its own in a year in a zoo for five years, and it's finally got its new home. So yeah, we should have heard this before. Yeah, deja vu, <laughs> deja vu, <though. laughs> deja vu, deja zoo. <laughs> <laughs> no dad joke. Oh, it's oh no, yeah. that... <laughs> got that ready this time. Chimpanzees. I've been killing gorillas for the first time. We haven't even said hello or welcomed or anything because oh. we've cut it off. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't add that back in. Why? What do you mean? Well, normally it's like, oh, we're back. This is just going to be over straight into it. Ain't easy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Sunday morning. <laughs> you can't add it back in. <laughs> sure you. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking it's, sweating. <laughs> it is warm, isn't it? Proper hot. Well, it's supposed oh, to be like yeah. raining. Well, at least it's not raining that um, crap weather oh. over there. Did it the mess dust, your car up that? Yeah, it's a Sahara sand. The fair cloud, yeah? yeah. It's horrible. Just every car, yeah. just covered in crap. Yeah, yeah the yeah. entire northwest. Yeah. I wonder what conspiracies are about that. It's cool, though, isn't it? there pretty cool when you think about it it's weird that the weather can pick up sand why it's just weird the the weight of like water in clouds is unbelievable you won't believe it i know like, but so why couldn't it like evaporate with the can water? it rain fish yes i've, I've heard of that before mm. i don't know if it was real though. uh frogs as well i think it, it is yeah. frogs i think he did frogs at one point not here hey, so imagine seeing that you just think it was aliens wouldn't you <laughs> Just fish floating up the sky. What the, what's going on there? Obviously, it's fish eggs and fucking small. What's going bits on there? Full and on they fish. grow up there and then they fucking fall. Full on shark, you see? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Sharknado, have you not seen yeah. that? Why'd you be standing raining sharks? That'd be scary, wouldn't it? Great white lands in your garden. Yeah. <laughs> what would you do? In your pool. What would you do if that happened? If like a great white land in your garden. Really, would you? Still flapping, you're still alive. <laughs> Would you start throwing water on it and that? Trying to keep it alive? No. You... No, because you need, you need oh. seawater. Yeah. I'd, I'd get hose on it. Hose pipe. I'd still die. Sprinkling salt in front of it. <laughs> 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 I don't know what I'd do in that situation. Go down the Cook shop it. and get some sea salt. Yeah. But you can't get too close to it because it's still trying to jump oh, and yeah, flip yeah, and yeah. try and bite you on it. Yeah. Does it did it even have boats on there? Yeah. So flip on the boat. Yeah, I'm scared of sharks. <laughs> I don't like them. Why are there so many spiders at the moment as well? I don't know, there's one in your room here. Yeah. It's time really? of year. There's one there. Oh, yeah, a little time. I saw it come from all the way up there. All oh, right. Have you been watching that instead of listening? So, yeah. <laughs> instead of it in the cold. I saw them up there before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but does that end big guys? Do you know like, yeah. the one that I had in the kitchen yeah. window? Yeah. A load of them, but massive in the back garden. It's about 20 of them, at least. Yeah. <laughs> Huge. We had, yeah, we had them in the house. You know those big black house spiders? Yeah. They have Doc Martens on and everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been hitting them with a big tennis racket. <laughs> I, I, I use their spider webs for uh, washing lines, but me washing lines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Massive fucking webs massive going around. Web. <laughs> I'll be pimmy clothes up yeah. on them. I've seen that bug of salt. What? No. It's a little gun, right? And you sprinkle salt in it and you go, like a shotgun. Oh, like it's a got kit. an aimer on it, like a little laser. You get a flying and it shoots it, bits of salt in it and just kills it like a shotgun. 
and then you have to hoover the salt so, up. But you might rather well just hoover the spiders but you, up. You, <laughs> but you can shoot on your food, everything, because it's only salt. <laughs> so you don't mind having salt on your food. How strong is it, though? <laughs> pretty strong. Shooting into your soup. It's pretty <laughs> cool, like. <laughs> it's just, it's just it's a look. Look. Yeah, bug of salt, it's called. But do you kill spiders? What? Do you kill spiders? I don't, I leave them. I don't. Them. I, 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 I try and get them out. I leave them to it. Yeah, I try and get them out. I was like, well, that's it. Beast it is. I leave them. They kill the flies. Well, I I feel like um, a bit harsh. I don't mind if it's a fly. Um, I don't know. Yeah, flies. I, I hate Hi, flies. Hi, my name is Lorenzo, and I'm the inventor of the bug assault. This is my buddy, Jonathan Wayne Freeman. He's going to show you how the gun works while I go pick up dog poop and do a little barbecuing on the grill. What? Mm. Powerful, love it. That sounds like he's barbecuing dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to talk about the basic operation of the bug assault. Ordinary granulated table salt like this goes into the hopper. Bug assault 3.0 holds about 80 shots. You wow. cock the gun by bringing it all the way towards you. You'll hear a click. Like a Did you hear that? Yeah, and then like the side pops up, salt. indicating well, that, that's a human. the trigger. Probably. Remember, bug assaults won't shoot unless the handle is all the way forward. Now you are ready to aim and fire. Oh! <laughs> but now you can't eat donut again, yeah? Because the bit's all Let's over. Let's talk it. about non toxic ammunition. Excellent for barbecues, this is ammo you can eat. Ordinary <laughs> granulated table salt, like this, seems to work best for the bug assault. Speaking of brands, we. Okay, larger it's cheesy this now. But like yeah, you get the gist of it. We call that fly shit. High performance and salt. If you think High performance salt. Sand. Look. Anyway, I don't know if it's a shoe. It's oh, out. that. Bug of salt. Yeah. He's got their own brand of salt. Oh, as well. High Let's performance. talk about aiming the bug of salt. Yeah! The most important part. When you are ready to shoot at the fly, make sure you have the safety off. An easy That's way to practice yeah, is by using aluminum foil. Get a box, marker, and foil. Create a mini shooting range with several targets. Yeah. Where's the one with laser? And practice until your aim is right. Let's go. You can get one with laser. But remember to stay two to three feet away from the I didn't even shoot through that. That rubbish, is it? <laughs> you can getting tell, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> of course it's amazing. I went to a room with, uh, I could have done with that last night. There was about 30 mosquitoes in the front room because I'd left the light on and left the back door open. It was dark. Yeah. I looked up, there was like, all over the ceiling. I was like, oh, we're going to do it. <laughs> going around it, either. <laughs> That's probably better. Covering, covering your house in salt. You look to me, Uber. They're not flying around, didn't you, Uber? They're still alive? How do we empty Uber now? <laughs> I'm in a predicament. So, you, so they got like a, a pump action shotgun yeah, for them. Salt. So what's next? The Gatling gun. That'd be cool, isn't it? A Gatling gun assault. It's just a big grinder, isn't it? Yeah. Salt grinder. <laughs> the automatic <laughs> salt grinder. I feel like that gun off the, that gun off the Predator that you used yeah. that big. Um, is it Medigun is it or something like that oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> now it comes with Amazon support so you stick your Alexa on it with a camera and it shoots <laughs> no, them for you yeah yeah <laughs> patrols <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> start shooting flies yeah, yeah. You'll, have a, you'll have an app on your phone while you're at work <laughs> yeah Alexa kill flies <laughs> it scans <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of dead flies in your eyes. Oh, boy. Good job, Alexa. Yeah. Come well, imagine if it activates itself, you start yeah. up going, you start firing start it. Start shooting you in the face. Ah! <laughs> Alexa off! Alexa off! AI's taking over. Yeah. We don't want them. <laughs> we don't want them in your eyes, do you? Automatic Alexa machines. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the, um, you know the last episode, what released today with James Maynard? Hmm. Maynard. <laughs> Yeah. Still said it wrong. Yeah, well, did you see that he was talking to uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson? I saw that you, you said something. So, yeah. I'm so pretty, jealous. Pretty jealous. Thing. Yeah, I am. Yeah. He was talking about AI. That's what brought my mind to it then, because yeah. we were talking about AI. Well, he, he said was talking about AI. It's going to be the 16th of September he's speaking to him, is it? Yeah, yeah. But that was uh, like a one-minute clip, that one, of him talking. Try and like a preview clip. Try and muscle in on the conversation. Yeah, try and get in there like, with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Be. He talks to bloody Joe Rogan. Yeah, I know. It's mad. It's like we're two steps away from Joe Rogan, but no one here. <laughs> <laughs> Same time, it's mad. Crazy. I am jealous. It'd be an interesting guess, wouldn't it? Very. Yeah. So yeah, that's the bug assault. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, I've, I've got something right that'll be better than the bug assault. Oh, go on. I've got so an invention yourself. No, no, it's actually, I've, I've ordered it. Oh, okay. It's um, a Viking axe. I've ordered one. Right, okay. And, and how do you kill with that? And slash them. <laughs> when it's flying through the go. <laughs> splice it in two. <laughs> going to come next week. There's going to be holes in the wall. <laughs> didn't, didn't you do uh, an axe throwing competition that I completely missed? Yeah, but yeah. I, I also nearly killed someone with an axe. <laughs> No, it weren't an axe when I was younger. I was uh, I was drunk and we was having an ice party and I was, you know, in butcher's knives? Yeah. Well, I was doing all this with it, like trying to show off and then I let go, slipped. It went over the top of a girl's head, stuck it more. Nearly killed her. And I was like... <laughs> she didn't even have a clue what was happening. I was just stirring her. Was like, <laughs> she went home and most of her hair was missing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was lucky that though, because that would have killed her. <laughs> but that's the only time I've actually managed to stick it in a wall. <laughs> Accidentally. Accidentally. <laughs> But yeah, I'm hoping to get my axe throwing better. So, yeah. So, so you get bought that. one to, yeah, bought to practice? One. Not to Is it practice, proper? it's a cool one. Yeah. Okay. I've asked them, can they engrave, get fact on it as well? Have you really? Yeah. I'll, I'll show you a picture of what the one I've ordered. Did they get fact axe? It's that cool, isn't it? <laughs> I'll show you the axe, it's pretty cool. Like. Where's it going? Go up there. As long as it doesn't go behind me. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. And then inside that, it's going to say get fact. Get fact axe. Probably Viking axe, yeah. yeah. As long as it doesn't go behind me, above me head. <laughs> yeah, just over the top of you, uh, <laughs> on the ceiling. <laughs> like a guillotine. <laughs> Next time you're late. <laughs> it's it's attached, yeah, it's attached by three bits of string, and if you're late, he cuts one. <laughs> He's just sat there talking. Next minute, he just chops his nose off. <laughs> uh, what's, that seri- uh, what's that series of films? What? Uh, do you want to play a game? Oh, I saw. So, yeah, oh, like there's a new one coming out. Have you seen the new one? No. Oh, the advertisement looks brilliant. Is it a continuation or a reboot? Because at this no, point. It's continuation. I love it, me. I don't know. I've never seen enough of them, but have you not? I can't Watch imagine. Them all, I'm a freak. I haven't seen them all. <laughs> have you not? No. I think I've seen the first I two. I think after that, I'm three, like three, maybe. I think the last one they made was worse because that was uh, Chris Rock was in it, and he was the main detective. He's a comedy actor, isn't it? Don't like Chris Rock. I, I, I don't know how they can it's, continue the story. Why? Well, isn't he just wants to torture people and he doesn't want to torture them again? Then doesn't he die or something? Well, I don't know. supposedly, I've not the story. Tra- yeah. There's a big story behind it here where. Uh, he had cancer and that, and then he was supposed to help him, but he didn't end up helping him, and then he got some help somewhere else, and it's a big like story behind it. But yeah, but isn't he? Didn't he die in like the third one? The, the guy supposedly, who was yeah, he's and dead then, in one of the mini. Supposedly, yeah, he didn't actually die. Do you think oh, right. He didn't actually die. Oh, okay. So yeah, he's still in it. He's looking yeah. badass. <laughs> yeah. On this new new one, there's a machine, and he's got suctions on your eyeballs. Uh, uh, two of them. He had to get out of it. I don't know what the how you get out of it, but yeah. it's just the sucks you'll get out and out until it sucks your eyeballs at your head. It's quite creative, isn't it? <laughs> you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> creative torture. I mean, well, by the sounds of it, you're into it. I've listened to one of these episodes what, where you're on about the yeah, torture yeah. device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what type of Hoover is he using though? Because I want that Hoover. <laughs> it's got to be a Dyson, hasn't it? It's got to be a shark. <laughs> the Dyson. <laughs> Dyson. Dad, yeah, Dyson. It's <laughs> <laughs> better than man. Man was literally dad joke. Dyson. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was so um, confident I knew where it was as well. So uh, close. Try it again next time. Do you see that the India's moon lander detected movement under the moon? Oh, okay. Did you see that? No. Well, I thought like it's going to be water or something like that. And it can't be. It's not what we think it is going to be, is it? It's not going to be an alien. No, or is it? Nah. So some suggest that it could be um, mini moon quakes. Another moon which, um, qu- quakes. moving a little bit under the moon or something. Apparently moon quakes are caused by us, you know, Earth. Yeah. The gravity of Earth is affecting the moon or something. Yeah, look, it's gravity of the and moon vice affects exactly, us. And vice versa. Mm-hmm. Vice versa. Yeah. But um, Japan are all so... Setting out a ship, a ship, <laughs> a rocket to the moon. Do you see that? Nope. I'm not this one, seen anything. This one is interesting, actually, because when they're sending that Japan one, they've actually got an AI little ball device, which is a camera, which is getting released from the ship to watch the, sh- the, the rocket land on the moon for the first time. Okay. That's never been done before. It'd be, It'd be, interesting. be quite interesting to watch, wouldn't it? Watching the rocket launch, actually land as, on the as moon. As the rocket's coming down, launch the camera. Yeah, and the camera shoots, turns around and looks up. Yeah, it, it shoots the camera out and then yeah. just watches and films it on and sends it straight back yeah, to Earth. Like a space drone, then, won't it? So yeah, someone has like to be space operating drone, that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, good idea. 
Yeah, but watch it as la- that'll shoot it and that'll just blow up the moon and make a big <laughs> load of damage. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Japan. You blew half the moon up. <laughs> but yeah, Is it going to be a man- manned operation, though? Um, I'm not sure. Is it, sir? I, I think it's probably probably not, is it? Probably like uh, India's, isn't it? You know, they're on a little spy device. Are they just doing it to see if they can do it? Or is there a, what, what's know. the goal? I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I, I just read that. I thought it was interesting. It is interesting. <laughs> just... Are they actually planning another manned moon mission? Yeah. I Have think they? So. There's another plan. I know they're working on a manned Mars mission, aren't they? Yeah. And I think they want to test it on the moon first. Right. right. So what's the aim of it, though? So their aim is to see if it's possible to land and then take back off again so they can use the same techniques for Mars. Oh, right. Is that what they're trying to do? Yeah. That'd be interesting, the Mars one. Yeah. Man, manned mission to Mars. That'd be good. Manned mission to Mars. That would be Land humans on Mars. So if they can do it on the moon. Yeah. Why don't they just do it on the Earth? Different gravity settings, isn't it? <laughs> is it? Yeah. Well, do you want to... Shoot up into the sky, into space, come yeah. back. Do you you try and land? They, they have. Well then, so they can do it anywhere. Different atmospheres as well, isn't it? If there's no atmosphere on the moon, so there's yeah. no chance of burning up. Right. The gravity's less. Right. And Mars yeah, has minimal. minimal but uh, there's, um, there's no gravity, though, is there? So it should be easier. There's gravity there's on gravity. the moon. Yeah, but I mean, there's not as much as uh, Earth, so it should be easier. No, but there's no atmosphere to burn. You up see in. people jumping and they go with their eye, just fart off the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy playing I'm that. sure Elon Musk's got a rocket that's going to be more like a, a base that they can use as well. Yeah. So I'm sure last time they landed with the... It was like a pod, wasn't it? The top of the rocket, just a pod, and then the pod comes back. But this is going to be a reusable uh, a, a rocket full, that they can use. A full yeah, rocket. They can live in it and then... I can't see that working. Every right. time. Just blow up, don't they, all the time? Every time they're trying it. How many times are you going to get lucky landing? Yeah, but didn't the same sort of things happens with the shuttles in the beginning? What? When they were test, testing shuttles, shuttles were blowing up and not working properly. And that's stuff. probably, that's what I mean, probably one in ten works, so imagine trying to do that risk. Like, yeah, yeah, we've tried this, it landed one eight to twenty times, you should be all right. <laughs> they oh, find yeah, out yeah, no what went wrong and they go, right, we'll fix that and then you do it and then something else goes wrong and then they fix that yeah. and eventually they're going to fix most But how things. many rockets are you going to trust before, it, like, you get on that rocket? Like... Well, it was the same with the... So they said to you, oh, we fixed it, no, everything's fixed, we think... Yeah, <laughs> well, the same with the, the actual moon landing in the sixties. They had loads of problems with that. Yeah, they, they were learning from it each time before they actually sent. Right, two, two or three. Was it three men? Two men yeah, landing. Three how, men up. how many times would you want it to land before you got into yourself? I'd say about hundred times. I'd want it to land successfully hundred times well, in a row. They've managed no to smashed in, in between. Send rockets up and land the parts back, haven't they? Yeah, Multiple how many times? Hundred times? times? Multiple times? In a row? A lot of times? In a row? I don't know if they've done that on the road. But you can only use them so many times before it's yeah, going to be scrapped. Yeah. yeah. But he's doing it all the because time. They're just testing new things each time. Because if it goes successfully three times and crashes and two times crashes, I'm like, no thanks. I don't like this pattern. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when he's going to crash. <laughs> I'm not getting on. But I'm sure all the ones they've spent and sent up are just for supplies. So there's no people on them. Yeah, yeah. So, right. That makes sense. What do you think about Richard Branson's idea of. Um... Flights to the moon, like airplanes? Yeah, I was talking about that one. They've done it. The galactic one. Was it done? Yeah, it's done. It takes you into the, with anything, me. into the outer atmosphere, doesn't it? So you feel yeah, like yeah, you're in so space. You're not, yeah, you're in space for five minutes. Yeah, well, oh, okay. floating around for five minutes. I think it takes 90 minutes to get there. I think you're still within the Earth's atmosphere, though, because you're not quite in space, but close enough. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. It costs fucking loads, though. <laughs> it's a quarter yeah. of a million a ticket. Wow. For what is it? Three yeah, minutes? Uh, <laughs> yeah. The first Olympian went to space because of that. So that first... Ship. Well, oh, yeah. I can't remember the, what was that other one. Was it something like the second person had to have Alzheimer's? Oh, something like that, Parkinson's or something. <laughs> second man with Parkinson's in space reward. No. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, if they can refine that, you'll have the fastest way to travel around the planet, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd have to go up that high and I get think that's to the other countries behind a lot it faster as well, than it. Yeah. I think that's one of the ideas behind it. You'd have to travel fast. I think that was interesting what you said, the space elevator. I didn't space know about elevator. that. I'd never heard that before. What's have that? you heard that? No, space, space elevator. elevator. So, uh, like a normal elevator, but one that goes to space. Right. So that way you can just go up and down. That's Which... a long, a wire, lot of wire in that, isn't it? Yeah, so <laughs> it's also absolutely crazy. So the wire would have to be thicker at one end than at the other. You'd have to have a massive counterweight. Um, it'd have to be in geosynchronous orbit, so it rotates at the same 
time uh, and obviously if it if it breaks and it comes down to earth you've made a, yeah, a big, new grand canyon that goes all the way yeah, around the planet <laughs> a big whip. but that's that's an idea yeah if you could just have an elevator that goes up and down between here and space it'd be well easy oh. but yeah it'd be like stupidly thin cable at the bottom to massively fat at the, would <laughs> be, at the top how would, how would that work like like would you send a rocket with like a cable attached to it I don't know how how you do it. Would you put, build a, a station up there and then build the cable down from it? Yeah. Or that's got to be the easier way. Imagine it? you made it too short. You've got this rocket with a cable and it just stops. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket's like shit. We're going backwards. <laughs> well, would, that, scary, um, would it be to the space station or was it just to? Well, yeah, to, uh, to probably be like a space station. That's the the anchor in geosynchronous orbit, and then the cable comes down and you get to space using that, and then travel from ship there. Up and down. Mad, that, isn't it? Because you've got to think the amount of fuel you need to get a spacecraft off the planet up there is going to be a lot more than if you're just already in space. What would a run? The elevator like electric or. I don't know. I'm, I'm not, not inventing it right now. I know, I'm just saying, what would you guess? What would thing. you go for? What would, what would you run? Would you go for like an electric elevator? Bing a little bong. diesel generator <laughs> down at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It'd have to be electric, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. How many floors would it be? <laughs> How many Space. floors would it be? <laughs> Can't see someone be pressing two. every button. Two. <laughs> <laughs> you got two. You got Earth or yeah, space? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Earth or space? Yeah. <laughs> What's this basement one doing? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the core to of the Earth planet. Skull. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Getting hot in here, isn't it? What? <laughs> I like, I like that idea on the remake of Total Recall where they've got an elevator between, is it UK and Australia or something like that? Oh, China yeah, that goes through it the centre of the earth. earth. Yeah, what? That's a good idea, that. How are you going to do that? And then halfway through, it flips over because of the that, gravity. That feels and dangerous, doesn't it? Shuffle. Going through the core? Yeah. That feels dangerous. Yeah. You well, I think that's Do we know what it's like to drill through the core? Do no. What? It says I, think, leaking. I think that's less viable than the space elevator, to be honest. I know it is, yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. For the Earth's core. Well, was I'm, a, I'm not saying it's... it's I've seen some of the ideas. Right I like the idea of it. Yeah, yeah. it's got an ancient crust, it says, on it around the core. It's like, no wonder. <laughs> it's been rain for ages. I've seen that film where the Earth stops rotating and they have to send a rocket to the to the centre of the Earth to set explosions off to get the Earth spinning. I have, what was that? Yeah, I, I think like it's called Core. Yeah, so I'm sure it's called Core. Yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous, but it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's not yeah. a bad... You know, it's all right to watch. Yeah. Do you believe in the Hollow Earth theory? Hollow Earth. What's that? Well, it's on um, like like sort of Kong versus Godzilla and stuff like that. Yeah. It's this supposedly this hollow earth. There's an earth. Oh, like, inside within earth, right? It's hollow earth. Oh, so like the underground is like another. There's another, almost like another, another yeah. planet. Yeah. No. So that's like um, yeah, strange, like strange things, isn't it? As well, was like another earth upside down, the upside down land. That's almost like a parallel. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was pretty cool. That bit was it puts that rope free yeah. and he just stares there. <laughs> Just floats through. Not seen it. Have you not? No. Oh, it's good. So it's like watch it. He kind of like is it up or down? He does it. Throws it up. Is it relative? Depends where you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it throws it up, but because it's opposite to each other, the rope just kind of floats and stares there. Right. But it's pulling that way and it's pulling that way. Right. Okay. Through both gravities, yeah. it just stares there and just climbing down. It's weird, but it's like that would work. <laughs> but it's like you get to a certain part in the gravity and you just fall and don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. That, that was my favorite best stranger things. I'm sure there's actual science on space elevators that they've done calculated things and stuff. It's interesting if you Probably. want to look at it. Yeah. Good idea, though. Yeah. yeah. How would they get it to support, though? Because it's going so high. What about the support of it? Because the higher you go with something, the more unstable it becomes. It wouldn't need support because of the gravity pulling the cable down constantly. So the gravity would be pulling it, I suppose. And that's just... So the gravity would be and, the support. And that's in right. geosynchronous orbit. So it's going fast enough where... It can't leave the atmosphere, but, it's but it also enough. can't come down. So there's automatic kind of tension. Tension. I like the idea. Yeah, that already there. But Sounds um, good. Imagine so. if you made it too long. Like today, then like. it would pull away. And it's slowly, <laughs> it, it, slowly, it would slowly float away. Yeah. And then, it, it, yeah, it kind then of, you've got like a massive kite, haven't you? you yeah, you've massive, got kite yeah. 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 Then you've got a space, a space kite. kite. You'd have to get Stuart in to control it. <laughs> We've only got a little unicorn one. Yeah. Oh, they won't get it because we missed all the kite conversations. Oh, yeah, because you forgot, forgot to hit record. That. Yeah, yeah, they won't get that joke. No. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, basically, Stu we're went uh, for a little kite trip with his family over there. It is. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was the end of that. We did have a full on five minute chat about it, but, you know, I we didn't did. record it. <laughs> I did mention as well that I got bought a dragon kite that was the size of a car, but 
Again? Yeah. Let's not go back to that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's gone, he's gone. <laughs> Should we play Truth One Lie? You want to play it now? Yeah, play yeah, it now. Play it now. Play it now. Play it now. Play it now. Right, play it now. Get, get out of the way. Spice it up. Get it out of the way. You mean it's a late night excited? Both of us in work have been like, have you got anything yet? I'm like, no. I can't think of anything. And just, he's going first then. And I, I said to Stu, I reckon Steve's got enough for all of us. I reckon he's probably got about <laughs> 10 he's fucking got 10 episodes. 10 truths. <laughs> 10 truths and one lie <laughs> and they're all just as ridiculous as each other right? yeah. <laughs> probably yeah go on Anthony you can start us off because yeah. you've got so many this is your game you do it yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's in this now because like even the axe throwing one I could have done the on a, a butcher's knife that yeah. sounds like a bollocks but that was true <laughs> yeah. yeah I can't remember if we recorded that bit yeah we did did we oh <laughs> yeah. we get that bit yeah. I think so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if not I you've got some serious <laughs> editing to do on this one well no <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's fine it's fine <laughs> yeah, we back. cut the first half an hour already. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that made my job easier, didn't it? Right. I once won a Sabutio set and a trophy for winning a football fantasy league. I once recorded myself singing covers to songs in my bedroom because I once thought I could be a singer. I once threw a kid out of a ring during a boxing match. See, all these. <laughs> I reckon me, they're all true. They could be all true. <laughs> This is what we were saying in work, on it? No matter yeah, what Steve gonna, comes up with, they're all going to sound true to Steve. He's going to trick us and they're all true. Um, yeah. Oh, we've got to think of questions, so ask yeah. him about, about the uh, thing. What what was the first one? So the first one was, won I a won a Sabutio set and a Sabutio. trophy for winning a fancy football league. Okay. When was When was that? It was in high school. It was in high school? Yeah. It was a high school fantasy league. Right, okay. Have you still got the set? I have not. No. What did you do? What did it you was do? a full box set. It had the football pitch and a lot of players as well. Really? And they get in. What teams? And it was crap. <laughs> <laughs> what? What teams? I can't remember. I think it was just like uh, like a Man United and Liverpool having I don't know. I can't remember. But, mm. Okay. I think that one's true. So let's find it. What about the other two? Uh, the singing one. You yeah. thought you could be a singer. Yep. <laughs> See, that could be true as well. Yeah, when was that? The that one? was when I was about 12, maybe. Not 12. Yeah. What songs were you singing? I believe I can fly. <laughs> that was one of them. I know, <laughs> that was my favourite one. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually did it to impress a girl. Oh, okay. And what was the third one you said? I oh, went through a, a kid. kid. Yeah. <laughs> boxing <laughs> kids. Why were you boxing ring. kids? <laughs> In a boxing fight. Why were you boxing kids? Because I was a kid myself. Oh, okay. I don't know the first one's the truth. No, you've got to find out which one's the lie. Oh, you've got to find the lies. All right, uh, I think the third one's a lie. I think the third one, the boxing one, I think that's a lie. Is it you going for the boxing? Yeah. That was the truth. <laughs> <laughs> the one that was lying was the singing one. <laughs> 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 yes, managed to blag you. Yeah. Go on, Dan. Oh, God, mine. <laughs> <laughs> See what I've got for for mine. You're not impressed that I won a fantasy league. <laughs> I believe I believed that one, especially when you went, oh, it's crap as well. I went, right, that's definitely yeah. true. <laughs> Didn't play it. Well, you think you just flick it with your fingers? Yeah, I hate it to be too. Yeah, it was horrible. Um, okay. So, I once got pulled over on the motorway by a policeman for driving too slow. He thought it was a bit suspicious. <clears throat> didn't 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 do anything. And then about 10 or 15 minutes later down the line, I got pulled over for speeding and it was the same cop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's true. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that's true. Um, I accidentally stole something for a shop, but then returned it for a refund. <laughs> so I earned money from it. God, I couldn't believe that that's, as well. That's a lie. <laughs> and then the third one, I got arrested and spent a day in prison for shooting guns in my back garden. That's true. It's the <laughs> second one. It's a lie. You've got to find out. Which, <laughs> no, you've got to find out which ones which ones true. I think the first one's true. true. You think the first one's true? Yeah. The first one's true. The first one is true. The third one's definitely true. You've got no. It's two lies and the truth, isn't it? So one yeah, of them's yeah. true. That second one is a lie. The second one is a lie. Yeah. And you think you think I've cheated and done two truths? What? So one of them is true. You think the first one's true? You think the first no, one's true? Two truths and a lie, isn't it? I've got two lies and the truth. I've got two lies and the truth. You got two? Have you, Egg? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I've just done two. It's called two truths and a lie again. 
Is it? I've, yeah. done, I've done it the other way around because I thought I've that made more sense. Around. Yeah, I've done it the other oh. way around. I've done one truth, two lies. Oh done. my god. Okay, we'll play. We'll flip it and play that. So, yeah. so do I have to, want me to go through them again, or can you remember them? Right. So, no. What, what are we trying to find then? The truth. The truth. Number first, three. First one. First number three. One. You think it's number three? Number three. I, I it's know it's number three. See, that's Did you why told me that story before. See, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I said before we need to establish the rules, but if you know it, you can't fucking into, you can't do it. So yeah, number three was the truth. All oh, right, okay. The first one I made, the first two I made up. You got arrested. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, I got arrested for what? Shooting. So the so first one was a truth. The first one was a lie. A lie. So you didn't get arrested, me, right? No, the third yeah, one I got arrested guns. for shooting. Oh yeah, guns. She's, I thought you meant the, the, the back yeah. The, uh, one of five no, pulled over for being slow and then put and then for speeding. I made that one up. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you instantly thought it was true, so yeah. that was a good one. Okay, that. That's plausible because I know how RC policemen can be. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I've even wrote in a group. Yes, two true stories and one lie about yourself. Fucking lie. I had uh, <laughs> trouble finding one fucking truth. Never mind two. <laughs> I did it the one truth, two lies because I thought I that made more sense. What? To make one true and two lies to make it harder. Right. Either way, it works either way, doesn't it? <laughs> Just have to try and work it in my head. No, I'm, really, what, to I'm trying to look so for, looking for the truth. I'm trying to look yeah, for the truth. Three, and three. he instantly went, he's told me that story before, and I was number three. And ruined it straight I, away. I, I know, yeah. <laughs> ruined yeah, it straight yeah. away. So then yeah. Stu was like, all right. Yeah. All right. Which, yeah, fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> I once won a gold medal for the 100 metres sprint whilst having trials for the England team. He once won what? A gold medal. Well, like, everyone can win a gold medal. A hundred they? meters sprint whilst having trials for the England athletics team. Right. This is all linked as well. I had an indoor race against the famous athlete Colin Jackson. Right. And I once helped promote the Manchester Olympic bid by competing in a series of athletic disciplines. These have all been around the same time. What was it? High school ish. Yeah. Or, yeah. What time did you did you mm. win the gold medal? What time did you run the hundred meters in? E tw- uh, 11 to 11.86. Got the year it took place as well. I <laughs> 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 uh, okay, I've got one more here. I what? once helped, I mean, got... I once helped assassinate Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, um so you were trying out and running a race at the same time. They were giving medals for tryouts. Well, it was a competition, but people were there to look for as trials as well for the England England team. Mm. Okay. And you you made it to the England team then because you won. I didn't make the England team, no. But because you had to have sponsors at the time, the, the whole rules were different at the time. Okay. So you're the fastest of the event. We don't want him because he's not sponsored. No, even the, though he might. It's win. not saying that they didn't want me. It's because <laughs> I couldn't get a sponsor. All right. You had to have sponsors in them days. Where does the I, Abba, I the Abba, where the he's Abba lying there, isn't it? Yeah. Like you said, uh, why would you not want you? Just because you're not going to sponsor. A, I think that one's a lie. So they're the other two, the truth. So yeah. you no, ran... The, the other two were... Well, one, one was the lie, one's the truth. Cause the way I think it. the one where he ran with, with that famous runner. I, don't even know I think that's is. true. I think that's true. Colin Jackson, he yeah. was a 110 metre hurdler. Oh, right. I think that's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. I think that's the truth. I don't reckon he know who he is or who has. I reckon <laughs> that's that's why he knows who it is. Yeah, I've never heard of him. Have you? I'm he going always, for that one. Presents athletics. I don't know. Stuff. I'm going for that one. Right. But yeah, that's number two. You're going for that's, that's the, the truth. truth. Yeah. Number two. I'll stick with you. Yeah. I feel like you know. No, the third one was the truth. I once helped promote the Manchester Olympic bid by competing in a series of athletic disciplines. And what's that even mean? <laughs> Manchester put a bid in for the Olympics to be held yeah. in Manchester right. for the 1992 Olympics yeah. and all the athletics club around the vicinity of yeah. Cheshire and Merseyside all co- went to the Manchester GMX if don't know if it's still there right. and famous athletes were there um, from that time right. including Juan Antonio Samarach who, oh, <laughs> who was the then president of the Olympic Committee right. and we just did various, various different... So you did a poll? <laughs> it's just sort of just like everyone just joined up and just voted No, we all just we did have like groups of athletes here, there and everywhere doing oh, different right. kind of races, okay. uh, long jumps. And what did you like. do? Any... I did sprints and a long jump. All right. Was any good? Yeah. yeah. Well, he must have been. He was there to, to yeah. say... Go yeah, let's yeah go but to... anyone could go there by the looks of it. Yeah, whoever could get the, the time <laughs> off school because you had to have a letter for school. Right. Oh, I was in school, yeah. I was in school. I used to think I was dead fast until I did 100 meter sprint against all these tall people. 
I thought, yeah, this is a world tour for me. And then I got quick. blitzed. Oh, left behind. I was pretty quick, even though I was short. I'm sure I yeah. could do a 100 meters in like 11 seconds. Or something. Yeah, they're, but, I was in year 11. I must have been about, what, 5'2? And they was all like 6 foot 5. I was like, yeah. what's going okay. on here? <laughs> 11, 11 86 was my actual personal best. Was it? At 14 years old. Nice. I can't remember. What well, was, was like was eight? Pretty quick. So, uh, well, I. Uh, no, I think it was didn't get nine. 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 Someone, nine. someone beat it recently, some, didn't they? Really good, n- really f- good time. Yeah, someone yeah, beat I think it. someone's beat it. Yeah, recently. It? Yeah. I mean, that's quick. Yeah, that's very quick. Yeah. I mean, I've done the hundred meters. Yeah. What do you get flagged at a speed camera? <laughs> like if you <laughs> haven't ran, they tried that in, you know, no. in, uh, haven't they tried that? You know, if you held a license plate and ran dead fast, but no, put it on your bum. They're yeah. only running. They were getting about twenty-seven miles per hour. So, so twenty, what? twenty zone camera, a twenty zone camera, maybe. Right. But that'd be interesting. We wouldn't it see if it gets yeah. them. If they're not big enough or whatever. Yeah. I've got um, you know, the automatic car parks that let you in and let you wait yeah. in that based on your edge player. Well, I've the one in Liverpool. It lets me in, but doesn't let me out. I'm stuck. <laughs> Lately, I've been going at night time, and there's no one in the office. I'm sat there <laughs> ages trying to get out, ringing doorbells and that. <laughs> so, How did you get out? I just have it where just start, go to the machine, try and put my car, and it says it's not accessible for like single payments. This card, I was like, What? Well, I do get out. <laughs> I just sit there in my car, and then eventually it just opens. It's like, So someone must be like asleep on the job or something. <laughs> and then eventually, like, Oh, someone's trying to get out. <laughs> just there watching you. Yeah. Let's see how long we can make it. It's annoying, though, no, because what it registered me going in. Yeah. So it must know my car. I would have thought so. But it just doesn't let me out. It's like, it kidnaps me. <laughs> All of us in back seats like, I don't like this, Dad. <laughs> like, what do you think is going to happen? There's a police guy outside. We just walk. It's not, not in the world, is it? We're not trapped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back to it, anyway. Let's get uh, juicy stuff here. What are we playing next week? Three truths, four lies. <laughs> God knows. <laughs> you might get it wrong. Yeah, and it doing four truths, one three lies. <laughs> It didn't seem to make sense the way you were saying it. Right. I thought one true, two yeah, lies. Yeah, one truth sounds a bit better. Because we're trying to guess which one's you, true. You, 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 yeah. Because you're mixing that and, truth in with... But I've got more truths than lies. <laughs> <laughs> no, we said that. We said the three you no, were going to choose. I, I just followed the game that I got oh, off the point. Yeah, yeah. I said chose. you were going to come out with once I got abducted by aliens. That's true. <laughs> yeah. And then for the second one, I had to wrestle an alligator. <laughs> and then the third one, I used to be a woman. And we were going to go, they're all true <laughs> Because they're all just as ridiculous. You're, you're a woman yeah. that was abducted by aliens. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fire man sent back down to yeah, see the rest of alligator. Yeah, yeah. Like, it all happened in one sitting. <laughs> That's how ridiculous your stories are. <laughs> <And> oh, yeah. <laughs> see, I knew if I chose that one that I said about shooting guns in my back garden. I didn't know it. I, know. I told him before. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. And that's the only one I could think of. I do not forget these things. <laughs> oh, oh, something must have happened in your life that was weird. That? That's probably spending the night for shooting guns in my back garden. Yeah. And not it. I Am I weird? Else. The type of guns, <laughs> guns really? It was just like a pellet gun. Why are there so really? many weird things got arrested for that? Pellet gun, yeah. <laughs> so the back garden faces a, a road or something, and they were like, we're shooting into the fence, though, and then there's a big embankment on the other side of the fence. I think the neighbours reported us, and then armed police turned yeah, up. I think it was a armed gun. police, fucking riot shields, they had fucking gas grenades, and dots, <laughs> everything. They had a helicopter out. I mean, it was full on. I mean, they had like, a car came out on the back, aiming for proper guns at us. They had gas grenades, oh, they had scary. a riot shield and everything. And uh, yeah, they, they, they arrested us for it because apparently we were shooting people and the, it, the story went crazy. Apparently we were walking around Runcorn shooting people and really? shooting, shooting cars and everything. Yeah, it's, it just blew, out, it just blew out well out of proportion. And when we got it, it was just a pellet gun that we were shooting it in the back garden. <laughs> in fact, we were in, in the house shooting it out of the double doors that were open yeah. into the fence of the back garden. So, yeah, it wasn't like you had an AK-47 or something like that. No, but really. it got absolutely blown out of proportion. The okay. helicopter. It was like the old Gat guns. Yeah, just like a stick a pellet in, yeah. pop it down, and shoot. Yeah. 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 Just little metal, metal, soft metal <laughs> pellets. But honestly, the amount of police that came out, armed police for it, ridiculous. Must have spent eight to ten hours in, in there. And then nothing That's happened. Then. Ridiculous. Isn't they it? let us go. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> Talk about AK-47 that you said then. Have you seen them ones that you can build out of wood? It comes in, it's, it's almost like uh, you just build it bit by bit and it shoots elastic bands. Like a semi-automatic. So like the old like um, elastic band shooters. Band shooters. Yeah. yeah, I don't need Do one. You know I never use wo- my fingers. Yeah, but you know the wooden <laughs> things that you build, like cars and yeah, that? Yeah. Well, that's an AK-47, that functions. <laughs> it's cool, <laughs> isn't it? I'd love it. It's like a full-size one Do as well. The magazine is you, you pump elastic bands in it. 
Oh, what? I might, yeah, yeah full, <laughs> no, well, it's got a magazine that you <laughs> magazine build, it clips in, but, but yeah, it goes on top of the elastic bands, you load it up. <laughs> Does it come Pretty with the elastic bands? Mm, good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get yourself down to Staples. <laughs> Is that where they tell them? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I wanted one. Pretty cool. But I ended up getting an axe instead. <laughs> <laughs> What does more damage? Well, in your hands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Interesting story, that though, isn't it? I bet the police. It's pretty cool. Well, on my one, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's good, and it? then the other ones, I thought I tried to keep them related so that you wouldn't, you wouldn't, yeah. Yeah. The police one was pretty funny. Stop. The cars. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. But I can, do, I can actually was... believe that as well because I know there's some RC police out there who. Yeah. You know, you, you, you're driving slow. Yeah. You think it's suspicious. You know, you could be just driving safe. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, yeah. and so they do you tell you off, say, well, you're driving too slow. You've got to keep up the speed of the traffic yeah, yeah. and blah, 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 blah. So you put your foot and down. And to make a that bit. more ridiculous, I said that I got pulled over for speeding. Which, yeah. again, <laughs> could be yeah. 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 by the same yeah. person. <laughs> yeah. I thought that. But was... it's the ridiculous bit that made it seem real, isn't yeah. it? Because it's ridiculous. It's like too yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. So you to thought that real. was true as well as the third one because you yeah, thought yeah. we were playing two truths and a lie. Yeah. Yeah. Two truths and a lie. So you thought that one was true as well. Yeah. And then the second one was like, oh, which, what, what was the other one you said? I accidentally stole something from a shop, and then when I realised... Oh, that's the one I went for a lie. And got a refund. <laughs> there, there was a reason I said that was a lie. It's last week, we talked about what things have you accidentally robbed before, and you said, I've never done. I don't know. <laughs> so, I knew... Cheating. See? That he didn't have a story about accidentally robbing something. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Never mind. So, should have, me and you should have played. Yeah. <laughs> so next week, yeah. we record yeah. this. What, you going to yeah. be out next week? <laughs> Just yeah. leave him out. <laughs> so a new research shows that the average human eats around a credit card's worth of plastic each week how like the microplastic microplastics yeah. That's, it's in the water it's in everything and we eat around about a credit card's worth of plastic each week it's weird isn't it yeah I can believe that yeah we are basically like a printing machine aren't we? when we poop we're just printing it like pop vinyls <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. little poop vinyls <laughs> <laughs> Have you, have you, <laughs> poop vinyls. <laughs> get some googly I've eyes seen, on this. Um, <laughs> I've seen the series Our World 2, narrated by David Attenborough. No, is it about no. pooping it plastic? It's as, well, they go on <laughs> about the albatross, which is inhabits this island, right. and it, they leave its young there to sort of fend for itself while the adults go off for miles and miles to get food and stuff and then come back. So it's just left to fend for itself. Yeah. But while they're out um, collecting the food, they're also collecting plastic from the sea as well. Right. And they're feeding the chicks the plastic. A lot of the chicks don't survive because yeah. they're full of plastic. That's crazy, isn't it? And then they show the island and it's literally covered in plastic. Oh, yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. But when when did plastic changes? When did plastic take over? Like, because didn't we used to have everything in glass bottles? Like, pop and stuff like that? Yeah, well, someone discovered it. You've yeah. been glass, didn't it? And then it changed it, it to it plastic. It's cheaper so and easier to make. Mix two plastic. chemicals together purely by accident and yeah. realised and created this plastic. Plastic. It's, it is good plastic, like, isn't it? Well, <laughs> it is no, good. Not, not really. It does. It does. Yeah, it's I know just, it's not good. It's just but cheaper to make stuff. It, cheaper to make. Yeah. I can look around this. No, it's a lot of it's plastic. Even this, the whole thing's plastic. Yeah. What yeah. would what would that be now? Metal. Well, if plastic didn't ever exist, what just make glass? What material would it be? <laughs> aluminium. Yeah, aluminium. It, it'd have to be metal, wouldn't it? Mm. That's make the closest metal, thing. Aluminium, wood, wood. I, mean, I wouldn't that, like wood. Is that rotting? That'd, that'd look cool in wood. I think that, it that would, that that would, would cool. look well cool. cool. What type of wood, wood, wood would you go for? Like a dark, yeah, like classic. A, like, an, like an oak. Yeah. Like, like, an oak. like a maple or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Mahogany. It'd probably, Mahogany. Mahogany. <laughs> it'd probably cost more as well, but it'd look cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Would make, make one? Like a wooden one. Yeah, but it snaps. You have to get glue, right? It's going to be <laughs> solid wood. You're not going to snap it, are you? Oh, dials and whatnot. Little turners. I feel like they'd be a bit more flimsy. No. And if you get mite, everything's gone, isn't it? <laughs> it just eat the whole no, thing. You leave all the dials on as plastic. You can't. Plastic's gone. It doesn't exist. Oh, you know, it exists. No. Right. You can still do them as well. Oh, you can do glass knobs. Yeah. You can do glass. Yeah. Glass metal. on the wood. You can do and metal. The light that lights up the whole knob. Yeah. Brushed aluminium knobs. Oh, that'd be nice. Packaging. What did we use packaging though before plastic? So like pot vinyls of well, plastic. They just wrapped in paper, didn't they? Just paper. Wrapped, wrapped in paper and stuff like that. I used to go to the butchers and you used to get wrapped in. Yeah. Brown paper on newspaper. But saying that pop vinyls won't exist, would they? Because they're yeah, plastic. Plastic. I've seen metal ones, though. Have you seen them? The little, have to be wooden ones. The mm. new ones, that little uh, Marvel characters, yeah, they're almost like cast iron. They're way a ton. They're pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Just cast. use biodegradable plastics, which they've they've got now. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, stop eating plastic. When you do 3D printing, <laughs> that my brother does a lot of, it seems like it's plastic, but it's you can get um, biodegradable PLA, it is. So it's like made out of wood fibre. 
and yeah. stuff. So it's not going to just end up in a landfill or somewhere. It'll actually yeah. degrade. Did you know that there's something in uh, American water, you know, in the taps, mm. that um, is purposely put in to uh, clean your teeth? Same with ours as well. Is it? Fluoride. Fluoride, that's the one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah fluoride in ours as well. Yeah. That's what gives but you that it, chemical sort it's, of taste. It's also, like, bad for you. Yeah. So we're being forced to eat toothpaste, basically. I have, permission. I have bottled water nearly all the time. No, it's bottled. only if I make a brew or something. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah we have bottled water. I've got a dispenser on the, uh, what, the fridge like? which has a filter on it. Yeah. yeah. There's got to be some stuff that you use water for, tap water. Brushing my teeth. Gardening. Having a shower. Mm. You know, washing. Yeah. In the pool. <laughs> You're washing your toothpaste. <laughs> shower. <laughs> and, make an, and I make a brew, so. Yeah. But. But you're boiling the chemicals anyway. Yeah. So the only stuff I'm drinking there, yeah. not, not a lot. Talking about uh, washing, you know how, um, what's it called? The shower gel that I use. The Menfresh. Man- yeah, Menfresh. Men well, yeah. They, they never got back to me, so I fobbed them off. I'm uh, yeah. I'm using Vagisil now. <laughs> 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 I'm thinking about getting in contact with them for Penisil. <laughs> Penisil. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's God. a disgusting name. <laughs> Vagisil. It's horrible. <laughs> Like, why'd you use that? Who <laughs> thought of that one? How do you apply a uh, penis? Though? Is it penis in a big in a big tube with a hole in the middle? And you just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you no, stick it up. What are you making? <laughs> making sex toys <laughs> for cleaning? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. See, your that. idea. Your just idea. Got a brush inside. A little brush. Bristles. Yeah, could do that. Could you a little tub? A penis though, with like uh, a little sponge inside, you just boom, boom done. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh. Moving on, <laughs> still reach out though. Um, smart watches can't detect your heartbeat through tattoos. That sounds like a fact, are you certain? I think it's true. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah I, I went, uh, is it's in weird, t- isn't it? It's tattoo scar tissue, so they deposit ink under you, yeah. certain part of your skin that can't break down so but do you the, know why yeah because they use light yeah. sensors yeah, on yeah, the light watch sensor through to, skin, to go yeah. through your skin so if it hits the ink it's not yeah, going to be able to detect it yeah exactly it's mad that isn't it it's, it's a bit weird makes sense to me yeah it's pretty cool no, I think it's different yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was blown away. Bored that Steve God <laughs> next next, <laughs> next. <laughs> impress me Steve <laughs> oh I give myself a reminder to get a Horrible history book. Some little facts out of it, but I've not done that. So no. I've clearly not listened to myself. <laughs> you see the prison escapes in UK and USA? You must have seen that. I know you don't see now, but it used to. I've heard of someone's escaped prison. So that guy, a guy in the UK, I can't remember his name, he uh, escaped a prison recently by getting underneath a food van and just holding on. But I thought they used mirrors in that to detect anything like that. Probably, but how did he get to the point where the, the food van's unloaded and stuff? How was he getting there? Well, like, that's what I mean. How's he done it? But if, uh, four days later, he got caught. So that was rubbish escape, wasn't it? Someone actually said, um, getting caught after four days of escape in prison is like when you say you're leaving home as a kid and going to the garden. <laughs> 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 Pretty much, because now he's probably increased his sentence. So he's in there for even longer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's actually for, in the same prison fun. as Charles Bronson now. So, is he? yeah. Well done. Nice. <laughs> yeah, there's also, at the same time, there was a, an escape P, escape E in USA. The way he climbed out, though, he uh, shimmied up a wall, hands on the wall and feet on the wall, and just, like, made his way up yeah. and got it that way. Don't know if he's been caught. I'm not following the US news, so. He didn't have, like, any barbed wire or anything to the top of the wall. Apparently no, not. No, no, like... he got out. <laughs> <laughs> it seems a bit daft, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm surprised this hasn't happened all the time. To be I know, honest. Yeah. <laughs> climbed a wall and got out. Yeah, just climbed, just climbed that wall. <laughs> Idiots, yeah. No one's done this before. <laughs> there were some weird escapes in the past, though, weren't there? You see that guy that was stuck in the wall? I think the wall. No. So they made a massive tunnel. Yeah. And um, the wall, the hole to get out was too small. And he climbed through and his belly got stuck and he couldn't get back out. <laughs> and it was in like a, you know, um, sewers. Yeah. So he was just stuck in a sewer container of all. 
and all the police are taking selfies with him laughing. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. hey, he's stuck it wall. Shawshank ever. Redemption gone wrong. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get a picture of that because it is funny. They take selfies on that with him. See if it comes up with images. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> he's just stuck it wall. And they're just all taking pictures of him. It looks like Charles Bronson has, doesn't it? <laughs> Too fat for freedom. It's got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, huh? Oh, he's coming after you, nasty. Yeah, he's still in prison, probably. Is this the guy who shimmied up the wall? Yeah, there he is. Is there a video of it? Newly re released video shows. Let's see if there's a video of it. Uh, oh, there it is. See if it plays first time or is it adverts? Oh, straight to it. This is the moment convicted murderer Danilo Cavalcante escaped from Chester County Prison in Pennsylvania, prompting an intense manhunt that is now in its seventh day. From the exercise area, he crab walked up the wall and apparently dropped down the other side. <laughs> Cavalcante escapes from the prison, having oh. crab walked what? up a wall, pushes his way. That well, seemed too easy. Oh, spawn gone. Oh, there's a gap there. No yeah, one's, yeah. No one's getting over that. It's all right. No we'll, leave that, we'll leave that gap there. <laughs> That's at least six foot. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't seem that high, did it? No. After you seen him go off the video, that was about six foot. And then he was over on the other side. I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they need to block that all up. And he's on the run for seven days. They've not caught him yet. I know. That's what I mean. So we're better. We'll be caught him four <laughs> days in. So you see what he uh, he did to get go to prison. He was a, a terrorist, wasn't he? The guy that got caught in UK. Well, he's a killer, apparently. Well, he was a killer. Yeah, the US one was a killer, and uh, the UK one was a terrorist. So it's a good job we caught him, isn't it? Yeah. Wonder what what's the first thing you do if you escape prison? What's the first thing you do? I'm going to get some proper nice food, some takeaway, like some uh, you know, just a mackies or something. Shave me head. <laughs> Change, yeah, well, change yeah, change appearance a bit, but you'd go and get like food and drinks yeah. and that. Something you take back with you in your belly. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> something you've enjoyed. How are you getting that food? You've got to go and steal it. Yeah, but obviously you no disguise money. yourself and then you go and you must be able to get some money from somewhere. Spoonie change. You know, we had a street for 10 minutes, you get a couple of quid for a Mackey's. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah, I'd have to eat something nice for once if I got out. I don't know, I'd have to, I'd have to plan in me. I'd like. If I want to escape, yeah. I don't want to go back in, so what would I do to try and... Would you go, I, don't, I might just have to go underground and become homeless and stuff like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, change your appearance. I'd go somewhere try nice. Stay off the grid. And... Get enough food and drink to go on a hike somewhere in a nice little mountain walk for yeah. a bit. Huh? You want to enjoy time out? You'll find Being stuck in, cons... in the middle of nowhere. can find space, don't you? So you, you want to be in a big space once? <laughs> yeah, but you're going to survive the at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. So you, you know, scav for a, a bit, get a bit of food and money. Would you know anyone that would help you if you got out? Depending on what you did. Yeah. So let's say you went to jail for oh, something petty. Or maybe you well, didn't yeah, even do you, it. I like suppose you would have someone you could rely so, on. So like you've gone to jail like, for murder, but that the person that's going to help you knows you didn't do it. Who, who would you go to? Would you go to your brother, Dan? Reckon if your brother knew you didn't do it, me mom, would you reckon he'd help? Or my brother, but then it's like they're, they're gonna know that straight away. They're the first. They're gonna go to family members straight away, aren't they, to try and catch me? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the, you'd be like, get away, you're gonna get me in trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't come here. So you'd have to avoid everyone. Everyone you knew. Mm -hmm. It's a tricky one, isn't it? So you couldn't trust anyone, could you? Because they're gonna grass you in. It's not even that they'd grass you in. They'd, they'd be monitored, probably. Yeah, probably. I feel like Stu's up to somebody. He's like, beep, 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 beep. Oh, what the hell's that? He's calling like the backup uh, now. We're on to yeah, him. He's, <laughs> he's an escape. He's an escape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dialing away. Like no, I was just going on about, over, yeah, yeah. on about escapees. It was just saying, you hear about that um, Alcatraz escaped escapee. They found a letter 50 years later. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seen that, yeah. Um, a John Anglin's name on the police letter. Yeah. Um, but they're saying it's fake, aren't they? Do you reckon? Yeah. The same. The mysterious that. letter has come to light. Yeah. Uh, purportedly from one of three inmates who famously escaped in Alcatraz in 1962. Yeah, the um, I seen it. Um, someone debunking it, saying it couldn't have been possible and all that, and it goes through with an explanation why it's not possible oh, okay. for them to be alive. So they would have died in the water. <laughs> well, they reckon the people that escaped waters and that, yeah, died. Yeah, yeah, two brothers. Oh, and a, a mother. He could have escaped, and they're just backing themselves up, saying that he definitely didn't make it. Definitely didn't. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> probably what it is. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 
Do you want to escape our waters? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no criminals walking around, harboring. So, yeah. Yeah, interesting though, that, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a mad escape. Have you watched the film, The Rock? Yeah. One of yeah. my favourite films, that. It's a good film. Brilliant. That, I like um, Escape from Alcatraz as well. Yeah. With Clint Eastwood. It's funny, actually, because I was actually watching the new film with him. What's his name? The main guy in The Rock. Uh, Nicholas Cage. Yeah, yeah, I was watching him in that new film he did. You know... <laughs> I'm not rubbish your names. You know, the funny Redfield. one. No, no. It's the one where he's with him from The Last of Us. The Last of Us main character. Yeah. In the series. You watched it? No. No, the Mexican guy. Well, I think he's Mexican. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> I was watching that, um, and it had oh, some of the... Yeah, I, rem- I, rem- I don't think I know what you mean now. You the, do? Um... <sighs> it's this weird title, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about, it's about Nicolas Cage's life now. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a good film, Matt. It's comedy. Oh, I know what you're on about. Um, yeah, what's it called? <laughs> something like the massive weight of talent. Oh, yeah, the or ma- something, yeah, something yeah, like the massive I weight of yeah, something talent. Something like that. But on that, he has like, um, you know, the green balls on the rock. Yeah. That, he has one of them. And I was like, I want one of them oh, yeah. in here. It's like a stand of them green balls. That'd be cool. The toxin. The toxin there, the gas balls. Yeah, it was cool, though. So I want my mom and you. Christmas gift ideas. See when you thought <laughs> when you thought the main guy in that, I was thinking Sean Connery. And Sean yeah. Connery, yeah, he was the main it? guy in yeah. that. <laughs> he was the one that got out, wasn't he? Was that, yeah. that massive, unbearable weight of massive talent. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. one. That's that's the one. one. Yeah, yeah, just ripped it out of nowhere. <laughs> no, <those two. laughs> I could yeah. remember some of the words. I couldn't remember the full title. <laughs> yeah. Is that the one where the deep fake him as well? What? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he's deep faked in that. No, but didn't he meet his younger self or something like that? Oh, there's a younger... I've, oh, never, I've, not, I've yeah, not seen yeah, it, Yeah, he so. does, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah, that's right, yeah. He calls him Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> Nicky's like a younger version of himself. Keeps slapping him and stuff. <laughs> it's, it's funny. He ends up snogging himself as well. It's weird. But it is a funny film, mate. You want to watch it? He's in... Um, have, you, have you seen the new Flash film? Oh, I've not. I haven't, but I've seen the clip. Of it. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, the deep fades in the Superman? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. I've yeah. seen that a little bit. And the Christopher, crazy, Reeve, the Christopher Reeve as well. Brought him, yeah. The, the CGI Wait, in that looks horrendous. What are they doing this, that for? Well, they they were on that corridor crew. Yeah, I've watched that. You watched that one, yeah. And yeah, they, they absolutely it. slated the team. Yeah. It's not the the guy's fault. Yeah. It's just time constraints, time or budget or yeah. something like that. And it's just like everything looks. Terrible. But it is a terrible sequence, isn't it? Yeah. What's the reason for it though? Why, why are they doing that? To show like a multiverse, like there's loads of different universes and right. Different... But Nicholas Cage was never Superman, was it? They, they, he, he was applied nearly, for it. He was nearly. Yeah. 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 And he dressed it up and was like, nah, scrap that. I wonder what the reason was behind so, that. Yeah. They've just uh, done it for like fan service, like, oh, let's, you know. Yeah. And they did Christopher Reeve in it as well, and, and Helen yeah. Slater, who played Supergirl in the 80s. Yeah. I know they're still um, CGI Stan Lee in things still. Because he used to be a background person in the old yeah. time, like in a stall oh. or something like that. I didn't know if they'd CGI. Yeah, yeah, they still put him in it. Oh, in different, know. yeah, CGI him in. Right. It's cool. Yeah. He was a legend, him, wasn't he? Stan Lee. I am Stanley. Stan <laughs> um, do you see Freddie Mercury's things have been sold over there? No. No. Yeah, what he's, um, you know, the baby grand piano he played at the, what was it, the charity event or whatever it was? That massive Live Aid. Live Aid, yeah. Yeah, it's, that was sold for 1.74 million. Wow. Yeah. So what items would you buy if you was a billionaire? What I- prop items would you like or things that have... Been owned by millionaires. I'd like um, Ragnar's axe or something, the, the one, the prop one. Prop one from yeah. that. So there's That's things cool. like that. Do you get, you'd get movie memorabilia. Um, some of them. I would, yeah. yeah. I'd get the, I'd get the official rock balls. Yeah, whatever they call the green bombs. Yeah. I'd get the DeLorean from... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the DeLorean. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd say I'd from get From Back the, to the uh, Future. The, I the, the 1989 well, Batman car. Oh, the, yeah. ba- the Batman car. You know, I'd get the only fuels and horses car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you'd have to have that, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DeLorean Back to the Future DeLorean yeah, yeah, that'd, that'd be, be a good one get one of them yeah. what else did you get like the that. also get the skateboard with Rocket on yeah, I think the car would be better to be fair yeah. <laughs> the car's like the main thing yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. it so. I'd get the self-drying jacket self-drying <laughs> jacket I've already got the uh, Harry Potter Invisible cloak here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that was hanging on yeah I don't know it, it depends as well like, even if you've got all the money in the world some things you're just not going to be able to get the gold from the Predator in the first one would you get anything weird? Like, like uh, I don't know, like um, Marilyn Monroe's knickers. 
Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. Tell <laughs> <No>, you would. <laughs> Probably not. Put them on wall. I'd probably try and get like uh, F1 drivers' helmets that they're not using anymore, or if, right. if they if they sold them, if they did like a charity thing. Or what either. is it with F1? Why does he take his steering wheel everywhere? What do you mean? Well, they say it's like he doesn't want them to rob his car or something. As soon as he get it, goes it's like my steering wheel. Part Takes the, it with him. Part of the regulations. You have to right. when you when you get out of the car, you've got to and. It, you can't get out the car without taking it off. You're that mm. sandwiched in and then put the steering wheel on that right. trying to get out with it. it I thought it was just being stubborn. Nasty, man, nasty steering wheel. I wonder how much Ayrton Senna's would go for his helmet. Um, it, well, they won't sell he it. Only had, Lewis, he only ever used one colour. Lewis he? Hamilton got gifted it. Did really? the Brazilian Grand Prix, was it two or three years ago when, oh. he, when he broke a certain record there. The family oh. gifted it to Lewis Hamilton. Right. So you won't get that. Yeah, but, <laughs> No, but you won't because but we're in a world where everything's for sale. So. Not for someone who's already got it, that amount of money. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. He has to sell it. He has to sell yeah, it if someone, if someone yeah, says, yeah. I want to he's buy suddenly, it. He's suddenly become skint. Yeah, no, it's just it's, we're living in a world where everything's for sale now. Okay. So so exactly. You, you can have anything. So you're buying his helmet. I'm buying, I'd, po- I'm buying this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You can buy that now if you want. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How much you offer? It's for sale. <laughs> you're a billionaire. Give me yeah. some money. I'd like an F1 car. Like, not one that just I drive use in general. Just to display. Just ha- not to use, but just to have it on display. I'd get one just to use in general. Yeah. Go shopping I'd, in it. On, on I'd, like the, I'd like the get full on Predator on your suit. On your wall, yeah. Full Predator suit would be good. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Full working one. Yeah, the full one. Yeah, That'd be cool. It's mo- mo- movable mandibles and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, real guns, lasers. Have you seen <laughs> the first one yet? No, I've still not watched them. I'd go to uh, Area 51 and buy an alien spaceship. <laughs> buy Area 51. Because it's, it's for sale, isn't it? Buy Area 51. Just buy Area 51, <laughs> yeah. And then we'll go in and, and find it. Area 51, it's contents. Yeah. And go in and just release it to the world. I'll go out and on that one. Yeah, it's cool, that one, isn't it? <laughs> Invested on that one. Are you going to go third? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Who knows what's in there? Eh? <laughs> I might get a real time machine, put the DeLorean <laughs> off. <laughs> no, yeah. Would you buy a football team? No. No. I'm not into football. Yeah. F1 team. But you buy the full F1, F1 organisation. Buy an F1 team. That would be yeah. cool. Have you watched F1 Live? No, no. I haven't. That's something I want to do. Just, I, don't, I don't have I many don't people. see the point. Why? <laughs> yeah, but they still have screens up. You can still watch. You can still, <laughs> you can still watch the entire race, but then you also get to see. You can do that at home. Or, <laughs> okay, so have you ever watched a football game live? Yeah. Well, you can do I that can, at home, Steve. Yeah, but I, I can watch the whole game. Yeah, you I can't can watch, watch the whole race yes, live. You can't. Can. You, can. you watch it, done. That's all you've seen for the next no oh, few minutes, whatever. How long does it take to come back round? Depends on the track, but between a minute and a half, two minutes. Is that all it takes to get round? <laughs> yeah. <Bloody hell. laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and there's 20 cars. So, okay. Okay. so you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, and they're spread out by 30 seconds odd. So you're literally right. like every minute, there'll probably be a car going past. Yeah. Right. And then you can okay. see it on the screen, and then the atmosphere. And right. I do want to go. I'd like, love to go to Silverstone. Okay. I think I'd try next year, but I've got no one to go with. Right. This oh. hat is from yeah. Silverstone. Me mate, mate won a competition in work to go. Right. And I was like, I want to go, let me go. But he wasn't into Formula One, and they wouldn't yeah. let him give it to someone else. Right. Because it was a limit. So many people could How go. Much is went, it? No. I'm not into F1, but I'll go. It's going to be a few hundred quid. Is it? Plus the travel. Yeah, but you're paying. So it's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, am I? Yeah. <laughs> Am I, yeah. <laughs> a few hundred quid? Depends. To watch F1? Well, they've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you have practice one and two on right. Friday, practice three on Saturday plus qualifying, and then the race on Sunday. Right. So if you go for all three days, and then depending on which corner you yeah. go, what straight, which are the best places, I can cost more, that. and then it's a travel. Three days worth, I'd just go for a day. Travel. It depends if you want to stay in a hotel or yeah. you want to travel there and travel back. You know. So. Where's that, Silverstone? Where's that? It's a couple of hours. Um... Oh, so it is in UK? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, okay. That's, the, that's the UK one. I, I don't know. That's just, if yeah. I had, if I'd won the lottery, I would buy a t- VIP ticket to every single race yeah. and travel around the world. Would you? Go, yeah. Like a group a, Does Brands Hatch still get used to race with? Not for Formula One. Does what? No. Brands Hatch. What's that? It's another race track. Another race track. Oh, right. Yeah. No. Would you take your car to an autobahn? No. You know, just prob- to, to see how fast you can go? Not my car, no. I'd like to see. If that's my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See what the top speed is. Tops out at 65. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie. He's doing 75 on the way there. <laughs> get him, police. Get him. <laughs> He's speeding. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you'd like to go to F1 then. I'd like to go to Brooklands. Mm. That's got a museum there as well, isn't it? Yeah. 
So is that an F1? <laughs> they got it the very uh, in like 1920s yeah, or something the, like that. Oh, was it? Yeah. The only F1 track one used for... in the UK now is Silverstone. Oh, I was going to say that. Is that the one when you used to use bathtub with the wheels on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you seen that? The oh, old... look at him go. Oh, he's <laughs> such a fast driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you ever see the, um, I think it was Ford or something like that, a car company that had a manufacturing company for the cars and then on top was the racetrack? On the roof. Oh, uh, Fiat, I think was it was. Was it Fiat? I think it was Fiat. The, the testing track was on the mm, roof. Yeah. But it didn't seem like there was anything in the middle bit. He fell off. Yeah. He was literally like, I had the racetrack, so he's just going around like that. Yeah, I'm sure it was Fiat. Weird. Or someone like that. <laughs> one of the Italian ones. <laughs> tried on the roof, I wouldn't say if that. I would sure. say if they were going mad. The top Gear not been there. Yeah. Big, top gear oval and, big, and they tried to see how fast they can go because it's banked corners. Yeah. Fast yeah. They want to go up them and, yeah. I think they just go on with ordinary cars as well, don't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. standard it's cars that they bought, I think. Yeah. See how fast they can go. That, that was a mad event itself, wasn't it? When Top Gear and they all got sacked. What was that for? Because he slapped someone. He punched, punched someone. Over someone, over yeah, something, main, yeah. Well, main people. But it, it's funny because they went away and did their own thing, and that was bigger than Top Gear. Yeah. I don't <laughs> think it was bigger out. than Top Gear, but what was Top it Gear uh, Grand Tour. Grand Tour, Grand Tour yeah. yeah. But cool. I stopped watching Grand uh, Top Gear as soon as they left. Oh, did you? I didn't even watch it. A lot it. of people did, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. And it's it's gone. I don't think they do it anymore. Oh, did they not? I, I don't know. But it was it's Paddy McGuinness last time I've seen and Yeah, um, they've just they can't keep that up and then I watch Grand Tour now. Yeah. Remember when they used to have another one called Fifth Gear? Yeah. Right at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Some some woman or something. Yeah, I think that was more that was that big, towards was people wanting to buy cars and it was oh, was more it? of a yeah, it was consumer more, yeah. friendly type. Yeah, yeah it seemed more like a magazine, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Rather than a comedy Top Gear always did like high performance <laughs> supreme cars yeah, yeah. And, stu- and stupid stuff and even when they reviewed cars that you could buy it was in a stupid way yeah. he took a green Ford Fiesta to uh, where was it now oh I can't think of it World War 2 with a beach landing oh yeah Normandy yeah. Normandy yeah. 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 yeah he took a green Fiesta there <laughs> to see if you could <laughs> if you could read Normandy in it the, the funniest one like, I remember is uh, on Top Gear when they uh, driving that car wash for that made car Wait, oh, it sets on fire the car wash doesn't it yeah, <laughs> they run yeah. off and leave it obviously yeah. it's framed and that's it staged so, but... so much staged but it was still yeah. brilliant it's quite yeah. funny though wasn't it I the um, Grand Tour one where mm. we, they to go to France to do French cars and they just smash into each other and it's like normal because <laughs> all French cars are all battered and <laughs> right that was a funny I, episode that I've one. not seen any of that uh, Grand Tour oh, oh, what is it? oh yeah any good it's, it's good four seasons so they started where they'd had like this massive tent they set up and they moved it round yeah. they stopped doing that and now they just do specials right they good though. Or? Yeah. Some of the specials are good, yeah. Yeah, really good, yeah. Have you seen that um, Supercar Blonde? Oh, cars, she goes and drives. Mm. She does see some weird cars. It's all the, like, you know, proper out there cars. Probably like alien, or alien cars and that. They're like prototypes and yeah, one-offs yeah. that they don't actually yeah, put she, into production. Yeah, it's mad. Some weird cars now. Do they, they, like, move in that? You know, the back end for, like, air intake and stuff. They move like aliens. Cars you can get in production do that now, anyway. Yeah, with weird. the rear wings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what was that random <laughs> <laughs> fucking laugh out of there? What thought came into your head to produce that laugh? I have no idea. It's been and gone. Mm. Some guy, um. Put you off now, haven't I? You <laughs> set me off, now. Some guy went to uh, Germany, but he went, he drove to the airport in his car, left it in the car park. Went to Germany. He meant me coming back in a few days. Got a job over there. Stayed for eight months. Came back and remembered his car wasn't car park. Did they get a massive fine? fine? Well, yeah. How much do you reckon it was? Eight well, months. Eight months? A couple of thousand. Yeah. Uh, airport car park. Um, About eight grand. No, I was going to say like 10 grand, 12 grand. Yeah, 12,000 now <laughs> 67. Yeah. Wow. What would you do when you leave your car? <laughs> <laughs> sell I don't think you could. You'd, you'd have to sell it you? and then you'd have to still sell pay the fine. Yeah, you'd have to, yeah. You'd, sell it, you'd have to pick it, it up just from keep, Manchester Airport. Keep going up, wouldn't it? It's linked yeah. to you, isn't it? Yeah. So You couldn't even leave it. Sell it. Yeah, you'd have to pick it up at Manchester Airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It comes with a lot of fans with it. Yeah. <laughs> comes free with a 12 grand fine. Yeah, they're bad them fees on airports, aren't they? Even just to drop someone off, it's like yeah. six quid. Yeah, like, that's why I drop someone off. it's going to be loads for eight months. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's like the first 10 minutes. Yeah. Five or six quid, and then after that, 12 yeah, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. It's literally even if like 10 seconds over, it's like, oh no, it's 12 good now, instead of six. Yeah, like how much is it for a week? Say if you had to drive yourself to an airport and yeah. park your car there, it costs you loads. That's why people oh, just was. get taxis. Yeah. Because it's well, so that's much. why a lot of cars park 
up the top there and uh, just leave the car there. Yeah. Right near airport, but not actually on the airport. But people have been vandalising the cars, <laughs> like spray paints them and that. You know, because they're yeah, fed up with people park, parking yeah. in their place. Yeah. I don't believe in v- that vandalism, like criminal damage. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But if they uh, if they went, how much is it for a taxi to the airport? Let's make the, our, our car park just a little bit cheaper than that. So then people will drive their own cars here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Instead true. of paying a taxi. Huh? Yeah. And they'd still get money. Yeah. But idiots. It's too logical. <laughs> yeah, too logical that. <laughs> I've got a uh, um, play random age flashback first story you think of in your life. What? <laughs> what that, that? Did, that didn't so seem like a normal it, sentence. It, <laughs> <laughs> That's how my brain worked. So we know. play random age flashback first story you think of in your life. So if I say like 21 years that old. That sounds like you wrote bullet points down yeah. to do yeah. something and when you read them out it makes no sense. To yeah, them, yeah, them I know it is. Yeah, that's what it is, exactly. So I'm going to explain it. To put so it into a normal say, sentence. I say to you, Age 21, and you have to tell me the first story that comes to mind from your age 21. You, as age 21, what's the first weird story in your head that comes to mind? There isn't anything. There's nothing that comes to mind? No. Nothing? No. Okay. It's going to be difficult for me. I joined a band. He uh, joined Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he joined a band called the Nazis. What, what, 21? <laughs> yeah. 21, is that what comes to mind there? Yeah. He joined a band. Okay. Um, 10. We first BMX. <laughs> ten, Dan. Must be something that happened when you're ten and you're a kid. I don't know What's if it's it? when I was ten, but I remember um, my dad used to drive lorries, and he took me out of school one day. He woke me up dead early to go mm. to go with him driving lorries. All oh, right, that sounds like a Jesse B song. <laughs> <laughs> my <So> dad. <laughs> Well, yeah, changes a HGV instead. Yeah, That's yeah. right, because he drove HGVs. And I remember one day they got me up early. I didn't go to school, and he went around the country dropping and doing whatever. I was in his. So probably, I don't know if I was ten then, but yeah, say that. It's Luke on fire from my dad's Bruce Lee <laughs> drives me around in his HGV. <laughs> <laughs> that actually works. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Either yeah, someone's good. making toast or yeah, I'm having a Either yeah. that, I'm, I'm having a fit. <laughs> but it's all right though. Uh, well, that game didn't really work, did it? So, we will scrap that one. Um, I've got another one here. Isn't it mad that the human brain is conditioned to remember bad memories more than good memories because it wants to learn from its mistakes? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. It's weird, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, when you think of something, it's always bad things that you've done in your life, not, like, good. I imagine it'd be the same for things and that, 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 you, you're, that you're scared of. It's usually because you've had a bad experience yeah, yeah, with yeah. it, so your fears come from that. Yeah, but well, it, so. it makes you wonder why people are depressed, because all they can think of is bad things that's happened to them. They can never think of the good things. That's got to take play. Well, maybe mm. some people, the bad things outweigh the, the good stuff that's happened in their lives. Maybe they're just in a situation well, where... they don't think there's yeah, anything true. good currently happening, it's all bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause they don't. The past doesn't always come into right. to it. It's usually the present or what you see in the future. That, but at yeah. least that's what it was for me. Right. Is that me when I said to you that, that little ticket? It set me off into like remembering Willy Wonka Factory. Me watching that film. I'll explain it from the beginning. <laughs> um, <laughs> Doing so, bullet points against the talking full yeah. sentences. It's because I've, I've talked with Stu about it. So I was at work and there's a little bit of tinfoil that flew in the air. And just seeing that little bit of tinfoil yeah. triggered a memory in my head of me watching Willy Wonka and you see that golden ticket, it's shiny and that. And that triggered a happy memory. And I was walking around smiling over a piece of tinfoil I'd seen. <laughs> <laughs> and it's things like that you don't really think about because you, you're already thinking about bad things and stuff all the time because I you think can't remember all the little bits. What triggers memories for me more than anything is smells as well. Oh, smells is a good one. Yeah, we, mentioned that. we mentioned that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. certain smells. You go, oh, that makes it you takes you back to like school and stuff yeah, and that. Different memories. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. Perfumes always do that to me. Like a certain perfume that I've not smelled for like 20 years or something like that. But hell. This is two me back to school, lad. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Whose perfume you smell at school? <laughs> <laughs> teachers. It's like teacher, old teachers that used to wear a certain perfume. You don't smell it for ages, and then you just what the hell. I feel like I'm in year year five again. <laughs> you get anything? A few little gaming things. I oh, can. Oh, but yeah, get that quiet. I thought he got brought night. Well, I had my uh, I had my all trues no lies. Oh, what was it again? <laughs> all trues no <laughs> lies. Jesus. Can't remember whichever one used this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah, all trues no lies. I don't know which way round you wanted it to be. So. Okay. So, um, yeah, this one, uh, the Nintendo Comboy. Have you ever heard of that? Comboy? The Comboy. 
Yeah, but he's um, a bell. Um, Nintendo Comboy. So, in South Korea, they put uh, they banned Japanese cultural imports following World War Two. It wasn't lifted into two thousand until 2004 right. so it meant that gamers couldn't get to know mario or anything like that so hyundai electronics distributed nintendo's product in south korea but it was called something different so they called it the hyundai the hyundai comboy, comboy. and the super comboy and comboy 64 because so it's the same thing it's the same but... thing but they released it under their a different right. name and hyundai released it instead i wonder what the... they're worth now don't know because I've never, I'd never even heard of that. Yeah, I was like, so yeah, that, that, that didn't ring a bell to me, but obviously it didn't know yeah, anything so about it. Like Korea put a ban on Combat, anything Japanese bro. in there, right? I used to live in North Korea because they're not allowed to have internet or anything, are they? Are they not? No, no apparently not, not allowed, allowed any internet. like outside influence. So that's mad, isn't it? Mm. Apparently, there are stories about them saying that they win the World Cup every single year and all sorts. What? Got, apparently, there's yeah, spread loads of news and lies and everything. Oh, did it? Yeah. Apparently, that's mad, I don't know how true that this is, and it could be stuff we just exaggerated and that's, made up. Yeah, yeah, that's like they're in their own bubble, isn't it? That's yeah. a bit weird, though. So, do you know Lara Croft? Yeah, Tomb mm-hmm. Raider. Mm-hmm. She's originally Laura Cruz. Laura Cruz. Laura Cruz. Um, yeah. Why did it change? Tom Cruise had something to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> so no, they wanted to base a character who was looking through Egyptian pyramids and stuff, um, mm. but the character was deemed too close to Indiana Jones, so they quickly switched it to a South American woman. They called it uh, Laura Cruz, but um, they wanted to be a UK-friendly name, so in the end, they ended up looking in a phone book and settled on the name Croft instead, so it became Lara Croft? Croft. How many Crofts do you know? Instead of Cruz. How many Crofts do you know, though? Yeah, but English? I don't know, but... Hey, well, you'd go for Jones, wouldn't you? Well, when it was that's, set up... That's very common English name. They dove into a, a phone book and found a lot of Crofts. Yeah. Laura Jones. Sharon Jones. Sharon Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Lara Croft was originally Laura Cruz. Right. I've Jones never heard of Croft. It's like if it was China based, it'd be Lee, wouldn't it? It's guaranteed to be Lee. <laughs> well, the must he must have gone through it and found a Croft. Yeah. It's That's more UK friendly dash, than, than Cruise, isn't it? Yeah. So, Is it? I'd say so. Croft. Tom Cruise. I know I know a Cruise. I don't know a Croft about it from Laura. Yeah, but this crew I think he spells it differently. This was C R U Z. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah. South American. Right. Uh, remember when I mentioned that video game that had uh, advertisements in it there? Oh, yeah, yeah. For, for, for jobs, jobs and stuff like that. Well, yeah. I've come across a, another one that's, uh, right. that's quite interesting. So Barack Obama campaigned in 18 games. Right. Ah, so during clever, 2008 man. presidential election, Barack Obama purchased ad space in 18 games that ran in 10 states. Uh, vote for Change billboards were in Burnout, Paradise, Skate, Madden, and uh, yeah, targeted uh, 18 to 13-year-olds. Right. So that's cool. So that's another way of... Putting things into yeah, games yeah, yeah. to put <laughs> that one for politics instead I, of. I've seen advertisements on a game, and I can't remember what game it was, though. It's like a shooting game. I remember seeing like real advertisements on it, and like, that's mad, though. It's yeah. proper futuristic. But I didn't know that one. You'd imagine no, that I'm present putting mm-hmm. and throwing stuff into <laughs> video games to make you to vote for him. Interesting. Like They'll that. do that for the war so you won't know. We need you. <laughs> and they, they and call of call. duty. Yeah. <laughs> call this number. That'd be the wrong game to put it in though, wouldn't it? You're running around getting shot. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. we need you. It's like, fuck that, I'm not doing that. <laughs> know, yeah, there's no coming back from them deaths. <laughs> you put it in like a farming simulator, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the peaceful list living on your own farm. Yeah. 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 We need you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... Nintendo's drug is a is the banana. What? Nintendo's drug is bananas. So, there's a video game, Final yeah. Fantasy 2, yeah. and the player encounters a group of opium smugglers right. in the game. But because of Nintendo's censorship guidelines, they wouldn't yeah. allow anything like that. So, uh, instead of selling opium, the drug dealers were forced to peddle bananas in the back of alleys instead. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so they had to change it because he couldn't have drugs in the game. Okay. So now you've got a load of drug dealers selling bananas instead. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. But we are sixty percent the same as a banana, so apparently so, DNA apparently. with bananas. So they were selling sixty so, percent humans. <laughs> Human trafficking. Slavery. Human that. trafficking. Yes. Yeah. Worse now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <it's> worse. <laughs> Slavery. Horrible. Huh? And I've got one more as well, which is about uh, Sonic the Hedgehog is inside all of us. Ooh, I don't like saying that. Don't like saying that. No, you've got Sonic the Hedgehog inside. Have I? Yeah, so have I. So have you. Oh, okay. No, but there's a joke, a, 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 <laughs> a gene and a protein that separates your right brain from the left and determines that you have two eyes. It's called Sonic the Hedgehog. The gene symbol is SHH, and the name wasn't inspired directly by the game, but a comic book series. Right. So they named a gene that we have. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog. 
That's weird, isn't it? S-H-H. Yeah, I thought that was quite strange. It's yeah. Bizarre one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you've got a Sonic the Hedgehog gene. Yeah. Cool. We all have. All I know. Humans. That's why I'm always running, right? That, that all of us definitely got to eat runs everywhere, <laughs> <laughs> Um, what was you searching there anyway? I was just looking uh, Antarctica was once home to a giant six foot seven penguins what? what? <laughs> in 2014 archaeologists on Antarctica discovered fossilised remains of colossus penguins that Whoa. could have stood two metres or six foot seven inches tall six foot seven penguins same wow, height as that. footballer Peter Crouch bloody hell twice as high as the present day emperor penguins right was seals raping them? Big Ray used to rape the seals and he's like, yeah, well, they're all dead. Let's get them yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> Way to outdo my gaming facts there with that one. Blew me mind. Seven penguins? I know, yeah. Isn't that? That'd be scary, wouldn't it? Imagine you had the zoo to see one of them. <laughs> Creepy, yeah, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just low <lobe. laughs> It wouldn't. They'd have took over and put humans in sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no more movies about that, is there? No. Never heard that before. That would make, make a pretty good movie, that. Yeah, six or seven penguins, that'd mm. freak you out, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah. What would it be, like killer penguins that come in for you? These beastie Don't penguins. Know, I mean, um, from what the picture that he was saying, that they showing, he's got emperor penguins on there, so I'm guessing it's a form of emperor penguin or right. um, an ancestor to the emperor penguin. I wonder where they shrunk over time. Gravity uh, isn't that? No idea. The giant <laughs> penguin <laughs> species known as, yeah, lived in... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you've got to try and pronounce it now. Come on, the, I know, yeah, you said, yeah. Paleudiptes, Diptes, yeah, like that. that one. Kleklowski <laughs> lived in the Eo, Eo, Eocene period over 34 million years ago and would have been able to hold its breath underwater for up to 40 minutes. Is that order, it? In order to catch larger fish. Is that it? 40 minutes? 40 minutes? That's terrible. A sloth can hold it for days. He's not a water thing, is he? Yeah, a sloth yeah. moves slower though, doesn't it? So it's all about the amount and of. He's not holding his breath. <laughs> he's chilled. He's not time. holding his breath underwater either. Uh-huh. It's harder to hold your breath underwater than it is above water. Is it? You, try it. Pressure. Yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah, I reckon if you try and hold your breath in here, and then you went yeah. swimming and tried to hold your breath under there, you'd yeah. be a little less. underwater. Yeah. I don't know. I'd feel like it'd be easier. I think we've been through this before, haven't we? No. Because I feel like I can breathe if I want to. If I'm not underwater, whereas if I'm in water, I know I can't breathe. Well, so I'm holding you, it longer. You, you can surface. You're not talking. Yeah. You're talking like if you're in the middle of the ocean, completely got no I, chance. I, I, I don't and you, know. You, you, I feel you, like you, you'd, you'd, you'd physically have to. <laughs> 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 like you're dead if you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'd give up easier with out of water. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can. Any more? Right. Random one. John Wayne's real name was Marion Robert Morrison. Film star Robert um, John Wayne was born Marion Robert Morrison in 1907. Right. Even then, Marion was an unusual first name for the future action hero. who he didn't much care for it, uh, preferring to be called Duke after his family's Erdale Terrier. The dog was Big Duke and Marion was Little Duke. His first film credit in 1929's uh, Words and Music was under the name Duke Morrison, but it was decided that the name made him sound too much like a stuntman so director Raoul Walsh and Fox Studios uh, head Fox Studios head Winfield Sheenan put their heads together and came up with John Wayne. Wow. Very American name, isn't it? Where's he from? I don't know where he's from. Has a very American name, in it? John Wayne. Like a proper cowboy American name. It's like Charles Bronson, he made him more English. <laughs> yeah. Do you know change his name? His first name was Michael Peterson, wasn't it? Yeah. He changed it to Charles Bronson. If a female ferret doesn't have sex for a year... <laughs> jump straight into that one. <laughs> she'll die. What? If Mother, she... Mother Nature has dealt a cruel hand to uh, Bridget Jones's of the weasel world. Yeah. When the female ferrets are in heat, they secrete high levels of estrogen that stay in their blood for long periods of time. If they don't mate, it causes depression and bone marrow. Uh, causes a depression of bone marrow, resulting in uh, a plastic amnia, amnia yeah. uh, which is often fatal. Female ferrets Mother. to be kept as pets routinely uh, routinely spayed for that reason. It's crazy, isn't it? That's just them, to... They're just lions. They can have sex all the time, the slags. What kind of shag will die? Yeah. <laughs> you need to do that with bloody uh, is it pandas or whatever it is that are not doing it. Spread rumours. Is, rumors, it, is yeah, it the pandas? Yeah. yeah. Tell the pandas. Tell, you tell them if you don't, you don't do it, you're going to die. You're going to die. Yeah. 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 Look at these ferrets. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember the uh, dodo birds? They, when they died out. 
Well, was they around when you was alive? <laughs> <laughs> when did they die? Right? to this again. So when did they die? That, that weren't that long ago, was it? No, it was, was it 18, 17, 18 was, When did Dodo birds go extinct? Oh, yeah, bloody hell. Well longer ago than I thought, 1681. Yeah. What a weird bird. Couldn't fly, would it? Apparently nope. it tasted terrible. Yeah. That's why it died out. No one was farming them. Then we just go and decimate them all. Right? We're horrible, aren't we? Yeah. So like, if it doesn't taste nice, I don't want it. Let's yeah. kill it. <laughs> At birth, a baby kangaroo is smaller than a cherry. Apparently. A smaller than a cherry? Kangaroos what? may be the world's largest marsupials, yeah. but their babies are tiny. Smaller than a cherry at birth. That's it's because... Like, yeah, I, I think I know that because... It comes out, but then they also put it in the pouch, so it's yeah. still in the belly, really. Yeah, it's also not, freedom. Yeah. That is why they instantly crawl into the mother's pouch to grow. They've got it right, haven't they? More months. Pop out a cherry, stick it in your belly, yeah. and <laughs> let it go when it wants. But it's weird because... They <laughs> we let it grow first and then try and pop it out. It's Where weird because it, it comes out and then cr- actually crawls up the outside of the mum. Does it? Yeah, into the pouch, yeah. Uh, that's cool, that. Crazy. Also sounds like a, like a living sperm. <laughs> Just wiggling its way. Yeah. Yeah. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. They come back to you in a minute. You got some you more? Uh, uh, yeah, just, uh, did you know okay. when? <laughs> you know when you clean your car and that. Well, I've recently cleaned mine because of all that weird weather. I haven't mind. You've not covered in dust. Yeah, mine is as well. Keep it that way because you're less likely for your car to be shat on by birds. Because you're trying to say birds aim for clean cars? Aim, not for clean cars. They aim for shiny things because they believe it's water. They used to have poop in over the sea. Okay. Like seagulls and that, you're more likely to have poop from a seagull than a pigeon. So how does that work when they shat on your head? <laughs> well, you must have a bald head. <laughs> <laughs> they got bad aim. Clear, <laughs> yeah. no, bad aim. Bad aim. They mean me personally, they mean me daughter. <laughs> <laughs> to be daughter. She must have a bald head. She must have a bald head, yeah. <laughs> They're aiming for you. <laughs> you next. They <laughs> missed. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, that, isn't it? Ducked out of the way just in time. So, yeah, I always thought <laughs> just thought birds were dicks, to be honest. It's like, you clean your car and you're... Oh, you come on! <laughs> it's always when you just clean your that, car. That's happened Isn't to it? you. It's about yeah. 10 minutes after you've cleaned yeah. it. Lovely and yeah. shiny for 10 minutes. Took it to a car wash. Came yeah. out 10 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. So what's the point? Yeah, that's the point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, back to you. Over to <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, we've done chat DBD as well. No, we've not done chat DBD. We didn't do it last week either. No, we didn't, did we? <gasps> no. We totally forgot. We were chatting on and it came to an end and was like, oh, done plenty though. It's like, Chad GBT, should we do it again? Oh, no, no, leave it. We was going to go back and record it, but we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. So. So that I do it now. Is do it now, do it now, get it in. Go back to Stu with his facts, yeah. Get, no, get, the, get the news in first. <laughs> get the news in. Get the news in. Okay. Is this where we cue the music? Cue the music. Yeah. Cue the music. Okay. A woman in Florida was shocked to find a live alligator in her garage. She said she heard a loud noise and went to check, only to see the reptile stirring at her. She called the wildlife authorities, who removed the gator and relocated it to the nearby lake. A couple in England got married in a McDonald's restaurant after their original wedding plans were cancelled due to the pandemic. They said they chose the fast food chain because it was the first it was where they had their first date. They had a small ceremony with 20 guests who enjoyed burgers, fries and nuggets at their wedding. Ever the romantic. Such a cheap wedding. <laughs> a man in China has been dubbed the king of chili after he ate 50 hot peppers in one minute. He said that loves, he loves spicy foods and has been eating chilies since he was a child. He also claimed that he'd never feel any discomfort or pain after eating them. Well, that's his bum. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Bloody hell. We've got one more. A woman in Canada has set a new world record for the longest eyelash measuring eight centimetres. She said she noticed her eyelashes growing longer when she moved to a new town with cleaner air and water. She said she is proud of her natural lashes and does not use any products or treatments for nothing. And that's all chat GPT. Over to Houston. It's warm in here. It is getting warm. It is getting very, very warm. I've shut the door, though, haven't I? Oh, oh. But the, that one was interesting, that last one then, because uh, the eyelash thing, the air was clearer and the water was better. So I didn't think that would affect your eyelashes. Well, it's part it was of healthier, isn't it? Well, 
part of your human makeup. You, you're growing, aren't you, and stuff like that. So maybe fresher stuff, having cleaner air well. and fresher yeah. water, cleaner water might have helped. Her so body was that that why detox. people were smaller and died younger ages ago because it was everything was dirty, wasn't it? Yeah, in the yeah, past. probably dirty water, dirty yeah, water, dirty, dirty. diseases and all sorts. Right? Yeah, not much healthy food. It's crazy, and it's think it weren't that long ago when there's like six year olds doing chimney sweeping. No, yeah, it's mad that. Uh, I think I also read somewhere that the youngest person ever to put to work in a workhouse was 18 months old. What? Doing what? Working in a workhouse. I don't know what they were actually doing. It must have been saying that there was more growing up, wasn't there? So well, like 18 months, he was basically 12 year you old back then. You was a 12 year old back then, wasn't you? Yeah, you had to grow up quick in them days to survive. Oh, you did. You was walking as soon as you popped out. <laughs> <laughs> work safety boots on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like you've just been searching something, Dan. No. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Disappointed. Back, back to you then, Stu. Back to me. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah little fact. Uh, the Magna Carta was signed in 1215. I remember it well. Was a historic <laughs> document, document that established a set of rights and principles limiting the power of the monarch and laying the groundwork for the development of democracy and the rule of law. Right. I don't I think know. That was around the time. History lesson, that one. Yeah, a yeah. bit of history. These lesson, are all sort yeah. of history ones. Oh. You're not interested in history. Do, do, do we? I, d- d- I didn't what say it is. I, I, I'm interested, but it, 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 it seems a bit. Depends yeah. what it is. If it's anything to do with all kind of that. <laughs> different stuff here, so. What oh, is it? Let's go. Britain played a significant role in both World War I and II. Yeah. It was a likely member of the Allied powers, and its involvement ultimately shaped the outcome of both wars. Yeah, I got, they got me arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the British Civil Wars in the, in the mid 17th century is a series of civil wars, including the English Civil War, erupted in Britain. The conflict resulted in the execution of King Charles I and of the, the eventual establishment of a republican government led by Oliver Cromwell. Mm. Any mad that they used to have like, executions? Mm. They just, yeah. Public executions. Everyone just well. watches someone get ed- the head chopped off yeah. and or or hung, hang or yeah, burnt, hang burnt to the stake. Yep. Which one's worse? Do you reckon hanging? I think or burnt. Chop your head off. I think burnt to the stake would be worse. Did you ever hear that story where um, some guy believed that you could still function without a head, and they tried to, you know, because he was getting his head chopped off. They wanted to aim to walk in a straight line after he's had his head chopped off. The CMA steps could do. <laughs> Probably not many. <laughs> <laughs> it's just spasm, isn't it? You, yeah. Without yeah. your head, your body's not nothing, is no. it? Yeah. So, yeah. But I, think, I, I can't remember yeah, any I've, steps he said. I agree, being burnt at the stake is probably the worst out of those three. Burnt on the stake? Yeah. It's got to be, yeah, because it's slower. Yeah. Slower, it's, it's, all it's, that pain. It's, it's slower. Don't know how long but, it's going to last. Would it smell like a barbecue? Would it smell like probably. it bad? No, I think it smell bad. Um, you reckon it smells bad? It does I think it's smell. human, isn't the human, burnt human flesh, it's got this distinctive smell. Is it a horrible smell? Yeah, yeah. I've smelt it because I've worked in crematorium. So, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think it smells nice. But yeah, I'd say it was distinctive. It smells different than other, yeah, other cooked meats. <laughs> e. but, Burning humans. Yeah, it's yeah. weird that people eat humans, though, isn't it? Like cannibalism. It's weird that the sites out there you can volunteer to be eaten. <laughs> right. You know that? No. Yeah. You can cut yeah. a piece off you. And... No, like you can go to the ration. You can get et by someone. Oh. You volunteer to be eaten by another person. Christ. That's weird, isn't it? It is very weird. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you want eaten today? Uh, just take me here, you want. <laughs> <laughs> just nibbling on you. When do you stop, though? Like, do you know what I mean? If, I don't if, think the ear would be a very good part. No, it wouldn't be. You'd want, like, muscles. It's cartilage, isn't it? Yeah, really? your cartilage won't be. Where would you eat? If you were human, where, where would you have to eat? It'd have to be something fleshy, fleshy wouldn't it? Yeah. It's quite I, fleshy, I would an ass cheek to ask, you reckon? That's probably quite fleshy, isn't it? Probably off tissue, wouldn't it? Oh, fatty. Not very nice. Like, muscle. Where would you go for? Oh, I don't know, maybe a thigh or <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be a good thing, doesn't it? On a chicken, like a breast. Or, your, or an arm or a something. A woman's breast, would that be the same as chicken? Or is it all fat? Seems to be a lot of fat tissue. Is it? Yeah. It's not the same as a chicken breast? I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's completely different. Is it? <laughs> okay. So I'm trying to think what best place would be. It's just all fat, isn't it? Humans. Eating like bat fat Muscle. and all that, it's just... Muscle, like leg. would muscle taste nice? Stomach, like um, fat round the stomach. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Would that be nice? I don't know. That just be just whatever they have eaten it. Just guessing, I don't know. You might get a pizza or something. Like that. <laughs> you never know yeah. what that's going to taste like. 
Yeah. Oh, and I'm or something like that. And I'm full arm. Full arm. I've seen that on a family guy was eating Joe's legs on a boat. <laughs> someone's arm on a spit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's some straight uh, walking I'll just stick a whole, on, whole human on a spit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what torch is that? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've had? Uh, Don't say human, because that would creep me out. <laughs> I mean, it's not weird, but it was to me. Uh, I've had uh, squid. Have you had squid? squid? Yeah, I've but I didn't squid. know I was eating squid. I've had squid ring. By yeah, I've had, yeah. I, I thought lot, it was yeah. onion rings. <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah, I've had same, same. Same with me. I was like, the oh, I got like calamari. Yeah, the chewy. Yeah. Yeah. Calamari. Calamari. Yeah. Calamari. Yeah. I've had. Why is it so chewy? That. Yeah, really chewy. Yeah, they're horrible. Um, I've tried snails. Well, have you had snails? Chicken what was they like? Oh, so long ago. We took, oh, a, took a trip to France snail. in high school, and I think I tried one. I can't, mm. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember what it was like. I mean, they're unlucky then. They have food that comes in a bowl. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? They served themselves up, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and chicken heart. Had chicken you had heart. chicken heart? Who eats that? Yeah. Well, that's the bit you throw away. Giblets, isn't it? Uh, chicken heart. So there was a place. Not really that big, in it. Yeah, and it's tiny. It's tiny and chewy, and I can't even remember the taste. Mm. Have you had um, shrimp's brains and that? Shrimp's brains. Yeah. No. Yeah, you know, like um, you have the little shrimps, is it? Yeah, yeah you I just eat them. Shrimps, yeah. Yeah, my mate used to like snap the red off and suck the brains out, <laughs> and then eat the rest of it. <laughs> what? Uh, is that not a delicacy? No. <laughs> is that just something you did? That's not needed. I've never heard that. Is that a weird thing? Yeah. I don't think I've heard that. It's a bit weird. You can eat cow's tongue as well and stuff like that. Yeah. You'd have to joke that when you put in your mouth. Good baby tongue. That's the first thing I'm doing. <laughs> what about you? You've asked us, but you me? Asked us. Uh, well, I'm not very interested with food, am I? I, I think the most I've had is like a kangaroo burger. That's, okay, that's the most exotic thing I've ever. I've never tried it. I mean, not good. It's all right, yeah. It just tastes like a burger, to oh. be honest. So yeah, you couldn't nothing. tell the difference if someone gave you no, that one and that say, one. You they could have given me a beef burger, and I want to know. And they could have oh, okay. sold it for more and told me it was kangaroo. But I was drunk at the time, so no. I don't think I would have had it otherwise. Okay. Cruel bastards. Kangaroo. Yeah, I mean, you can have alligator as well, can't you? Well, apparently, uh, kangaroos are not that important in Australia, are they? They're just no, like, loads of them. they're an invasion of them almost. Yeah. Like, just kill them. Like, you yeah. drive down the road, you see them on the road, watching mm. the cars go past. <laughs> you as you're driving, they're just there. You see him like on Good videos, metal. like an helicopter trying to land, and you see kangaroos bouncing over for doing them in. Jesus Christ. Aggressive. Yeah, they hop out into roads and all sorts. Yeah, they're mad. They're yeah. like, I'd love to see a kangaroo. I think, like, I think they're funny when they fight. Wild. Yeah. Fight. Yeah, yeah. Box, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah full on box, yeah. <laughs> Big claws on them as well. There's a, a recent one, actually, with some guy in a, in a zoo, I think it was, and some kangaroo trying to beat him up. And he just keeps pushing it away, but he's get away. <laughs> and then he tries to do his son in as well, and it's <laughs> proper aggressive, and they just want to fight. Yeah. I'm boxing. My dad's a jar at me. I'm definitely punch if he's coming at me. He just kept pushing it back. And in the blue De- corner is Stephen Alshon. He's coming at you. He's punching, didn't you? He'll stop it. Straining jaw. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? One, yeah. two, <laughs> three. Yeah, exactly. No. What's the worst animal you ate to fight? A bear. <laughs> it's got to be on it. It's got to be. It's got to be a bird on it. A bear. A polar bear. Just, just any bear. Polar bears are like the only birds that actually just kill for the fun of it. Other birds kill for food and stuff like that. Polar bears kill just because they like killing. That's scary, isn't it? Yeah, but if you're fighting them, then I don't want to fight any of them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but, but polar bear's not going to stop. It's I don't gonna... think any of them will. You'd be dead straight away, but yeah, bear. Maybe wolves could they punt in packs Yeah, coordinate themselves. He went oh, a pack that? of wolves against a bear. Didn't he used to do that type of stuff? He used to go, like, put things together. I don't know. In the olden days. Like a bear with a line just to see what wins. Ah, uh, yeah, they used to um, they'd probably put a bear. The bear would, like, get chained up. Right. Yeah, I think the bear would probably... And then they'd have, like, a dog or something attacking it. So the bear couldn't really do much. Well, they used to have um, things like Colosseums, didn't they? Like, yeah. fights and stuff. Did you know the Colosseum? They used to be able to fill it up with water and have boat fights in it. Yeah, okay. Did you know that? No. So, yeah, so the... But where the walls and that, you know, drop mm-hmm. down and you have lines and all that. Well, apparently it was all waterproof and stuff and he used to fill it with water. I have boats in it and I've put sharks and crocodiles or whatever in it. Not sharks, crocodiles in it. You just have, like, boat fights. It's weird, Is that true? It? Yeah. You sure? In the Coliseum. Yeah. And it's yeah, also... Weird, but... Also, 
he used to be about six foot the wall and he had lines yeah. and he used to jump over that wall and rip all the, like, the important people that have front row seats <laughs> apart and he had to hire it make it high Square that. have you dreamt this day? no because this isn't no, sorry no. <laughs> <laughs> have a look Get our, uh, is that what you're doing our fact yeah, checker on it fact checker yeah fact checkers do <laughs> That's why we need. We need someone to just sit here and just like while we're talking about it, yeah, you just yeah. sit there tapping away. You can, do you reckon Tom would do that? Check him before. You'd want pain though, wouldn't it? Probably. Uh, the Colosseum is famous for its arena and gladiator fights, but did you know the Romans also hosted massive mock ship battles in the Colosseum on water? Mm-hmm. There there you okay, go. so they're only mock ones, they were pretend fights, not real ones. Yeah, but you're still on water. You feel it with water. Yeah, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? It's interesting, though. Yeah. yeah. But he also said they were filled with alligators that used to eat alligators? people on the front row. Yeah, he's put alligators in there. Uh, what were the mock sea battles in Rome? Uh, Nam, oh god, no machai were staged naval battles that took place in ancient Rome. They were often held in specialty constructed arenas that was filled with water to create a large pool or lake. Nothing Imagine about. how hard it is to fill that up, though. Imagine how hard it was to ca- catch a crocodile back then. <laughs> they have tranquilizers, didn't they? How are they filling that up? That's going to be a lot of water, and well, how are they that- doing that? That water bill must have been high. I know. That's what I mean. How, are they, how where are they getting the water? It's not like they've got a whole like a, a mock up of what? Well, of, kind of what the kind of what they think was. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Again, how are they filling that with water? I know. Probably near a lake or something because it's stage battle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it be near a lake and, pipe and just, the Romans were, in. were very clever and they were yeah, and the high lake and then yeah, maybe. Mad, isn't it? Then they can only fill it a certain amount of times once yeah. the lake's drained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they probably drop it back in. Unless they had a river somewhere. So if they had a, a lake up there and the Colosseum there and they dropped the water down. Yeah, they yeah, didn't get back up. Unless it was a river that flowed and they just spurred off with yeah. some pipes or whatever. With their own sort of channels. One of the yeah, and then they the could flow it back in afterwards yeah. when they open the doors. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Sorted. <laughs> Problem solved. Sorted. 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 everything back into the main yeah, yeah. The pizza. Pizza. water supply. Just use the Tesla valve. That only goes one way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's all I've got anyway for today. I've got more, but I'll save them oh. for next time. No, I've got nothing else. I've got nothing else. Yeah, yeah. One over 40. One over 40. Got, got a few more there, or? I've got nothing else. No, nothing at all, no? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm done. I'll save these ones till next week. Okay. What new uh, movies are you going to watch? Nothing. You got any anything got... in mind you want to watch? No, nope. I've seen quite a few films coming out. I want to watch, so that, that that's all is one of them. <laughs> um, any series, right? No, nothing coming out. I've got one more episode of Foundation to watch, which is. So right, I kind of want to go back and watch all like classic films and that that I've ne- never watched. You know, like IMDb top twenty and stuff like that. There's yeah. loads of films on there that I've probably not watched. I'd like to watch them. I've been screenshotting some of them that I uh, that sound interesting. I recommend an old film to watch: The French Connection. French Connection. Yeah, we talked to Vic Ferrari about that. Right, that's a really good film. Old. There's a, good. There's a new one called Napoleon coming out. That's supposed to be really good. Ah, I've heard about this. Um, one. Yeah, it's the guy that plays Joker. He's the main oh, guy in it. Yeah. He's uh, Napoleon. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good. That film, Napoleon. I don't know what it's like. Yeah. That's what I mean. I've not seen anything like upcoming Have films or anything like that. Well, we, uh, old films like Valkyrie. I've not, I've never watched Valkyrie. that. Valkyrie. Yeah, is it good? That's good. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah. sorry, right, film that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, these are films that I want to watch because I've I've heard someone talk about them. It sounds it sounds interesting. That yeah, it is. It's um, Wait, Nazi, isn't it? Based on true story. Yeah. Is it true story? The assassination sure, I made of a Hitler. list of stuff I need to right um, things to watch. Under, under the, the skin. Assassination of Hitler. Because I know it well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was in the film as I, well. No, I was a uh, creative consultation. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I've got a couple of been recommended. Not old ones. Oh. You said Kandahar. Kandahar, yeah. Kandahar. What's that? What's that about? That's where Gerard Butler, he has to, is it, is it, is it something to do with the translator or something? Yeah, he has to go and rescue it. It's, tra- it's to do with uh, yeah. going in for the insurgents and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I started in, watching Iraq that the other day. It was. Yeah. And then The Covenant, you said to Did you enjoy that? that? I did, yeah. We we got bored. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, I'll put a black mark next to <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> 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 Uh, Blackbird series. Blackbird's you fantastic. Told to, you told me to watch that. And I still you not need watch that. to watch that one. Have you watched yeah. Blackbird? No, no. Such a good film. Uh, series. Series. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So after the first episode, first episode it seems like it's going to be cheesy. The series, but it's not. 
It's really good after that. Yeah, isn't it? It's a guy who's in prison who's murdered a load of people. Yeah. And they put someone undercover in prison with them to find out where, where bodies the bodies are, are buried. Right. Or and it's based on a true story. I think All right. Taron Egerton's in it as well. Okay. And they're still trying to find the bodies now. Blackbird. I mean, Blackbird. Yeah, Blackbird. Such a good series. series. We're watching a series at the moment called Love and Death. Right. It's got um, Elizabeth Olsen in it, who played Scarlet Witch. Mm-hmm. Right. She's in it. It's a true story as well. Um, she murdered... Well, I won't tell you about it. Was it a part. series? It's a miniseries, seven-part miniseries. And it's got what? Love and Death. Love and but it's got a little bit of black humour in it as well. Love and Death miniseries. We're just, we're just on the last episode now. 7.5, not bad. You should watch a series called Your Honour. It's got Brian Cranston in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen, seen that, but uh, I've not actually watched it. I've seen it and thought, oh, it must be good if he's in it. And I've never watched it. Two seasons of it, I think. Isn't it about, um, his son runs someone over. So his son, cartel or something. Part, yeah, he's in a hit and run, he accidentally kills someone. Yeah, uh, he goes to... He's a judge, yeah, Brian yeah. Cranston. So he's like, right, we've got to go to the police station. We've got to hand. And when he's in the police station, he sees whose son he, he's actually killed, and yeah. ends up being like a big mob boss. Like, and right. he's like, uh, right, I can't. He's not doing this because he knows his son's going to die straight away. Yeah, so yeah. now it's let's go and they try and hide it and everything. And, yeah. But it evolves from there. But it's actually is it pretty good? Yeah, I don't know how you, how you can drag that out though for more than one season. I didn't because it was only going to be one season was it? originally, right. and then they ended up doing a, a second. Does it work? Season. Yeah. But I would also say that about John Wick. It's like, they made the first one, it's like, hey, can they go from there? Like, hey, can they make a second one? Cause, yeah. But then they did, and then there's like four, four now? Five? Four. Four? Four, yeah. I and it's four. every one of them supposed to be really good. Apparently the fourth one's going to be the best. The best? 9.4 well, rating or something like that. I haven't seen the process of watching, but oh, yeah. number three. I'm all on right. process of the second one. We've gone back from start, we watched the first one all yeah, over I again. I haven't seen the fourth one, I've seen the first three. Right. And I've only seen the first Matrix. I've not seen any of the others, so I might go back and watch that and watch them. The Matrix that, is the best one. The first one's the best one. I also want to go back and watch Kill Bill. All of them. I watched them all, but I can't I remember. I wasn't really keen on the Kill Bill. I, I, I used to like that movie. She did, she did. And then you got five steps and your head blows up. <laughs> like, whoa, that's mad. You'd just be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life, wouldn't you? I'm not walking. So like that. Yeah. <laughs> five steps and your head blows up. Tell you what was good. Magnificent Seven. Magnificent Seven. There's the Western um, with right. There's a joke version, wasn't there? Magnificent yeah. Six or something like that with uh, yeah Adam Sandler. Yeah, <laughs> I've terrible. seen I've seen that Brother. one. Terry Crews or something as well. Yeah, and um, who's the guy who plays Star Lord and did the voice of Mario oh, as well? Yeah, He's yeah. in it. Yeah, um, right. Can't remember his name now. Chris Pratt. Chris yeah, Pratt. He's in uh, Magnificent Seven. Is it? Yeah. Is that the one? Maybe that's the one I've seen. Then I don't know. Oh, the real one. Yeah, it's got Denzel know. Washington as well. That might be the one I've seen. You've watched the real one, <laughs> not the comedy one. Yeah, maybe. I thought that was a real good film. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's one called Under the Skin that I want to watch. Uh, have you heard that one? No. Nope. Sounds like a horror. That one is... What's the name? The one in the Marvel thing. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson, apparently she's an alien. She takes over the the body of a human and uh, starts kicking ass. Really? Right. Well, seems quite interesting. Um, the Colour of Money. It's an old one. The original one? The, the, Tom Cruise? Yeah, yeah, Tom Cruise. I've not watched that, but I've watched The Hustler, okay. which is a brilliant film. Yeah. And uh, he's in it as well, isn't he? Um, it's supposed to be like a follow-on. Paul Newman. Paul Newman, yeah. Such a good actor, him. Brilliant. And he was a good-looking lad as well. He was. <laughs> or is. Is he dead, is, isn't he? Is he still a was or an is? He's a skeleton, <laughs> isn't he? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is he still alive? I thought he died, me. I thought he got ill. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think he's dead. I don't think he's alive. Yeah. But Colour of Money is really good. Yeah, died. 2008. Uh, another one, The Boxer. Uh... Um, what's his name in it? He gets awards for everything. Every film that he's in, he always ends up getting an award. Daniel Day-Lewis. Have you heard of him? Yeah, he's the... My left foot or whatever he does. <laughs> Let's look, see if it's the guy I'm thinking of. Uh, um. Oh, no. See, his face doesn't look familiar, but he wins awards in every, yeah, yeah. every movie he yeah. does. I think he's got the most awards of anything. I'll tell you what's a good film as well. Acting wise. A few years old. Resurrecting the Champ. It's got um, Samuel L. Jackson in it. Right, is that a boxing one? It's a bo- it's boxing one, yeah. I do like a good boxing film, but that's been like, really good. Resurrecting the Champ. Pull it off. It's funny how like, good Rocky is, but it's how terrible the boxing scenes are. Like, yeah. Nowhere near touching him, are they? Yeah. It's about a metre away <laughs> from his face. Like, 
Yeah, but I'm old, are they? <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, you, but you see some old films like that. The Boxer, that's that's pretty old. and That's 1997. How old was Rocky? 1987? Rocky? Maybe? No, 90, Rocky. 90, 1976? Yeah, it's like... 19 what? 76? Yeah. yeah. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's before we were born, mate. <laughs> right? Not me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Didn't say colleague. Slag bag. <laughs> what about the, the Doors? Uh, Val Kilmer. Is that what it's about? About the Doors. Well, about the Doors. If it's Val Kilmer, yes. Yeah, about yeah the I think it is, yeah. The music one. Yeah. Yeah. Don't watch that either. Yeah, I've just got three films that I want to watch. Uh, Walk the Line. Uh, about... Another uh, musician, I, think, I believe. Uh, what's the musician's name? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, and that's my list of films that I've got wrote down here. Oh, to, got to watch what's anyway. the name? What's his name? Um, but, um, Joaquin Phoenix is in that Joaquin, as well. Joaquin. 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 Yeah, Phoenix. Uh, hi, I am. Um, <laughs> He's trying to do the voice. He almost said, I am Morgan Freeman. He's dead in his head then. I want myself today. That's what he sings, isn't it? That songs. And it does that um, burning bomb, ring of fire. Yeah. Burning ring of fire. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Cash. Yep, Johnny Cash. That's the one. I love that song. That That's uh, Resurrecting the Champ. I heard myself today. I love that song. There's the cast of Resurrecting the Champ. Ah, Josh Arnett. I've not seen him for a while. I've seen him for a while. Uh, yeah, Since he's that um, vampire film? Res- the 30 Days of Nights. Is that the one? Yeah. The was vampires. That one, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Vampires. Family L. Jackson plays a tramp in this. <laughs> he plays a tramp. <laughs> tramp. That's <laughs> <laughs> how he did it. He's ping pong game with his mouth. <laughs> tramp. <laughs> Sticky Vicky. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's close on that anyway. <laughs> That's all from us. That's all from them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ciao. Hit the button. Hit the button. Oh, what press, button? Steve? Press an old. <laughs> <laughs> what? what button am I pressing? What button? The off button. Yeah, that one. That one. Bye. Bye. Bye.